Hello, 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 everyone. And welcome to more Danganronpa 2. Let's see. Um, what happened last time? Uh, I believe we ended off with finding out that Peko, Peko, Pekoyama, was the killer. Um, and both her... No. Just her. She died. And then... Fuyuhiko was very injured. I believe that's where it ended. If I remember correctly. It's been a few days. It's been a few days. But I guess without further ado, let us begin. <laughs> Yo, what up, Hannah? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. How you doing? No one's here, right? <laughs> oh, Christ. Man, I can totally see it now. Those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprised look on their dumb faces. Good, I just finished class for the day. Yo, let's go. I just got home as well. I've been home for like half an hour or so. Um, I only have one class on one of days, thank God. Uh, but it's like fucking, it's like noon 30 to 2. It's like... Just, just like an awful time for what I would, what I, you know, from like when I start streaming. I'm on Rafa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, Kaylee? <laughs> I can't wait to see the surprise look on their dumb faces. <laughs> the dangy grandpas. How you doing, Umbra? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll probably be happy about it. <laughs> they'll probably be very, very happy. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> I can't do this girl's voice. She just sounds like Monokuma when I try too hard. Uh, ding dong, bing bong. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Oh, yeah? Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Oh, yeah? Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Morning, huh? In the end, I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Involving himself in Pekko's execution like that, suffering all those wounds, is he really gonna live? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Worry has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. But that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lay here and do nothing. Loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in bed. Guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right. Just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first. Then we'll question Monokuma afterwards. I'm definitely going to find out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. But yeah. Yeah, my day's been going pretty good so far. How are y'all? Oh, do you have a favorite character in this game? Um, well, one of them just fucking died, so. Uh, I really like Pekko, just because she has the aesthetic I like. Um. But. I mean, I got Chiaki maxed out, because I like Chiaki. She's pretty cool. Um. Akane. Akane's pretty cool. I like Akane. Um, I, I'm fucking... I, not a lot of care. I mean, I guess Ibuki's cool as well. Uh, that's about it, really. Not a whole lot to report on there, Chief. Okay. Let's go see what people want. Bye, Sonya. Bye, Sonya. Restaurant. Oh. Why is it just you? Well, Hajime, you're already here. Hiyoko, you're the only one here. What are you acting so anxious about? Huh. I'm not acting anxious. I just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I just came by here early. I see. Girl, 
There's something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of trick again? Interesting. Um, do I need to talk to her again? Huh. I just happen to be like my missus. Okay, cool. Interesting. Uh, was I not supposed to come to breakfast? Huh? I should be right so I should wait for a while. Cool. What do I What do I do? Oh. That would be an interesting thing to look at. What the heck is this? Aha. Uh -huh. A panel has been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos pasted all over it. Didn't Mahiru take these photos? That's fair. Second game in the series. Uh, be the second game in the series would be my favorite. I like almost all the characters, and I generally like the story. Yeah, I mean, the story's cool so far. Um, in comparison to the first game... I like a lot less of the characters. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but like... Mm, some of these characters just kind of feel... Uh, feel annoying, I guess? I don't know. They're, they're either... Um, either like annoying or like not fleshed out. And I don't know if that's just because like you have to go with them to like flesh them out more, but like... I don't know, the only thing I know about Sonya is she's a princess and she's like a closet weeb. Like, uh, Soda, he's a simp. Um, there's a few that are fleshed out, like fucking Nagato. Nagato's really fleshed out. Um, even without having gone down his, like, path at all, he's super fleshed out. Um, Hajime is still an enigma, but I assume that's just plot relevant stuff. Uh, I do like I do like the main character. I do like uh, Hajime more than Makoto because Makoto felt like your classic anime protagonist, where it's less like you know, oh, he's a bumbling idiot in a in a strange world and he needs everything explained to him, which worked for the first game when it's an introduction into the world. So I'm glad they didn't go with that approach again uh, with Hajime. Hajime is actually like, you know, he's like he's like paranoid. He's cautious. He's 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 you know, he's he's more like a common person would act, you know. He's like, what the fuck is this? What's wrong with you? Why, why are we doing this? This is absurd, you know. What the fuck? Um, so, yeah. I'm also kind of sad they killed off Byakuya. I understand that. I was kind of like that, too, when I first finished the game, but later on it gets so interesting. Oh, okay, well then. I hope I can I can experience the same thing. What's with the terrifying ambience? Yay! <laughs> wow, what's this? What an adorable decoration! Um. I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort putting their best to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Mahiru's gonna be happy too. Did you make the Satan ritual, woman? I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Hiyoko, did you? <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> ah, good morning. <laughs> She's lost her mind? Yeah. This is very much like a Taka and Mondo thing, I think, from last game, where one character is very attached to another character and then that one character dies. So the other one is just fucking, like, broken. Ah, good morning. It's so rare to run into you two here. <laughs> what are you looking at? Huh. What are these horrifying photos? I expected that reaction. <laughs> Yo! What happened? You! Oh my god. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Huh? Yo! What's all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> this is bad. Please take a look at these photos. Huh? Huh? Photos? Whoa! Whoa, what the heck? Oh, what's actually hey, on hey, the Hey, 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 hey! What kind of ominous crap is this? 
Is this like something you use for sorcery? Mm. Hmm. This is clearly an insult against Mahiru. Damn it. I don't know who the hell I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they've got a lot of nerve. <laughs> this is too much to actually treat Mahiru's photos like this. What are the actual photos? <laughs> you fucking you idiot, what you think was happening? You made a fucking Satan ritual. Ah, everyone. I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably Good day. Good morning, everyone. Good nom nom nomming! <laughs> Good mongrel! <laughs> Interesting. What's up with those nasty photos? They're giving off crazy huge ominous aura. Something like this. There's no excuse. This is too terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously, it's just. Hey! Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. No, right, seriously, it's just the worst. I fucking I've forgotten her voice. Uh. I know, right? Seriously, it's just the worst. Nope, I keep going into fucking Valley Girl. She's not Valley Girl. Uh. It's just the worst. I wonder who did it. Huh? Hmm? You're right, there's no way Mahiru would be happy with this. <laughs> she won't just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be angry. She cries tears of blood. <gasps> just speak annoying? I mean, yeah, but I don't want her voice to be too similar to Ibuki, who is just the fucking lumpy space princess valley girl the uh, uh, accent I can do. <laughs> Man, who the hell did this? No! No. <laughs> we'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime... Fool! Fire. Start the fire. We'll have a grand bonfire so Mahiru can reach Nirvana. Seriously, this is... Hold it. You can't. Someone took their time to make the this memorial so we can mourn for Mahiru. You can't burn it. <laughs> huh? Mourn Mahiru? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. You think so? Really? Well, I think it's just a little clumsy. See? Why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances? Perhaps. I mean, I don't know what the fuck cow skulls have to do with Mahiru, but I mean... Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. Oof. Imagine making a memorial and then getting shit on, I know. Fucking... <laughs> cannot believe it. If you look carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? I can sense Satan rising out of this. Mahiru's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Really? The bone candles? The cow skulls? That was... That was symbolized that? I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know. I don't know about that one. It's kind of... kind of sus to me. Right? So I definitely think... Yeah. It's a nice decoration. I see. To hear and say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You, <laughs> you sure are simple-minded. <laughs> fuck yeah, skull candies though. It's candles, can't fuck. I even, uh, I can't read. I woke up at 6 a.m. to go to a fucking class today when I didn't need to because the class was at fucking 12:30. <laughs> I don't like you. I really hate you. I don't really want to burn it. Huh? It cannot be. Um, was the person who made this? <laughs> Mahiru was really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. <laughs> he was really good at taking care of others. <laughs> Mahiru's probably lonely by herself. So I wanted to tell her that she's not alone. Even if she's in heaven. <laughs> Fuck's sake. This is a fucking act and I know it. <laughs> I don't like this fucking child. Yoko. You. <laughs> I did want to make it look better, but unless I'm dancing, I'm clumsy whatever I do. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> eh, sorry, Yoko. Oh, thank God, that one's voice acted. Well... Uh, how should I put this? 
<laughs> I, had to, I had to lean into the voice there. It looks like we uh, misunderstood. <laughs> now that I take a closer look, it, uh, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decorations. For now. So let's keep this thing around until we uh, get off the island. No. No, it should come with us when we get off the island, too. It would be a waste to leave behind. Such wonderful photos. <laughs> so we're not gonna burn it? Impossible! Of course not. We could never burn it. You. Or weren't you the one who started shouting that? I got it! Fine. Then I'll forgive you all, except Mikan, of course. Why? <laughs> except for fucking you! Why? Why are you so strict with me? I see, I see. Man, it's so unexpected. Meow. I really can't imagine Hiyoko being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who cares about that? <laughs> Hiyoko has a very kind heart. That's not it! Kind? Oh, come on, it's not like that. Jeez! Jeez, stop already. <laughs> huh. You don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it! <laughs> Hiyoko is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Damn. Shut the fuck up, you pig face troll. Why only me? <laughs> God. Oh, I fucking hate these characters. Uh, at any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's very like you guys to settle things like this. Hmm? Really? Feels like we made a huge fuss about it and then finally settled things. So mean, my poor girl. <laughs> Agony. That's just like you guys. Well, little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair towards our situation. Yep. Yeah. You guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. Oh boy. <clears throat> Hmm. I have arrived. Apologies for the wait. What? What the? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? Impossible! Hmm. Our malice clings to Mahiru even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it. You're the worst. Gundam. Gundam Tanaka. I like doing his voice, but he's such a strange character. Wow. This is a very hopeless object. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. <laughs> Let's just hurry up and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it for even one more second. I'll destroy you! Oh, Jesus Christ. Stand aside. I shall shatter this barbaric, blasphemous, false idol to pieces. Hey, yo, what up, Mr. Marinara? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. sucks now those two are here uh, do you still think we're splendid hmm looks like it's gonna take more time I completely agree the scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing all I could do was sigh but at least it was a peaceful scene however we didn't realize just how short-lived this piece would be even though we were finally bonding a situation was brewing like a huge fracture running between us all and that will be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We hadn't just we just hadn't realized it yet. Chapter three. Trapped by the ocean scent. Daily life. Oh yeah. Um one small thing you might notice about the stream layout is I changed the progress bar. Uh, into a scrolling bit. <laughs> it just does the most recent bit giver. Um, I started to realize that because I had a progress bar on stream that like updated no matter if it went up or down, uh, it kind of felt really fucking, it, it felt really shitty when it went down. <laughs> and like, I was like, I'm gonna just gonna get rid of this. That way I don't have to look at it, you know? I'm doing good, vibing at home, thinking about what I should make for dinner tonight. How you doing, gamer? I'm doing all right. I got home from school. I uh, I grabbed a burger from the Steak and Shake that was on campus because I never had it before. And I was like, I'm gonna try this out. And it took forever to get me my food because it was one dude running the whole fucking shop. And when I finally got it, I took it home and I ate it. And I'm like, huh, this is mid. 
I should have gone to a real steak and shake if I wanted a fucking steak burger. Like, it tasted fine, but it's not like steak and shake fine. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like... The fries were good. The fries were excellent. A plus to the fries. But the burger was alright. It was, it was just alright. You know, it's not like... You know. Besides that, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Hey. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Don't you worry about, like, choking? Yo. <laughs> I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? What about Fuyuhiko? Um. Is he really alright? I was so concerned. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> if only I could have tended to his wounds somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. Uh. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. You. Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? All right! <laughs> now that I've got a belly full of food, I'm all set. So. I'll show you my serious side. Leave the rest to me. I'll question Monaco and avenge for you, Hiko. That's obviously wrong. Avenge? He's not even dead. Sheesh. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. <laughs> well, yeah. Huh. She flat out admitted it. Hello. Oh, God. Okay, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Meaningless. Oh, it's you, Monami. What do you want? Jeez! Man, the fun mood's over now thanks to you. Huh? Oh, did I just ruin the mood? <laughs> Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. Huh. Huh. Hey, <laughs> wait. <laughs> who the hell are you? Who the hell? Wait, no. Who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Stop it! Wait, no. I definitely need to be treated like an outsider. Just, what do you want? What do you mean by, I did my very best? Um... Oh, you finally asked me. Hey! Once again, I've defeated another mono beast. How do you like me now? Worked through hard, didn't I? Hey. If you defeated another mono beast, that means... Ding, 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 ding! That's right. You're now able to visit yet another island. <laughs> so let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. No! Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No. That's the only thing we have. It's our one and only hope. Could it be? Huh? Are you guys thinking of leaving the island even though I just said not to? Do you have a minute? More importantly, Bonomi, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Hmm? Huh? Fuyuhiko? Um... Um, you see... I don't really know. I won't be fooled! Miss Sonya, can't you see the waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You fiend. You're also part of the mysterious world and organization, aren't you? Hey! That organization brought us this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us this island, that's gotta be it. Hey! Hey, I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? Huh? This is a great opportunity. It's time you finally filled us in. Oh, what a dilemma. But that's the only- that's one thing I can say. Bye bye! Truly, this is a tragedy of middle management. Hold on a sec! She ran away again. She's like always like this when things get inconvenient for her. Well... Oh well. Who cares about Monami? More importantly, <laughs> she mentioned a new island. What should we do? However... I do not think we should be exploring when Fuyuhiko is in danger. Hey. But we must move forward. No matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> what a fucking voice line. Jeez. You're seriously just as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko. But is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we do what we can? What we can, huh? He's right. Let's try to find a way off this island before he gets back. Mm -hmm. You are right. You are right. Well, Yuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Miss Sonya. All right. Then it's decided. Wait, fuck. <laughs> then it's decided. Let's hurry. Let's, uh, let's explore and search for new hope. Wait. 
So wouldn't it be faster to beat up the rest of the model beasts and search the islands all in one go? Leave it to me! Yeah, that's strange looking rabbit to defeat one. It should be easy for us too. Hold on! Hey, don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to hope-filled future with our very own hands. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagato wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Alright. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? If it allows me, I'm gonna go fucking spend all my gacha money. Because, you know, I'm a fucking addict. Gotcha time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. If I'm a slowpoke, it'll be sunset for I know it. I should go explore the new island. Alright, I'll, I'll fucking I'll do the gotcha later. Damn, denied, uh-huh. Truly, truly, agony. Have you pooped? I knew it. All right, that's island two. And then... Island numero... Trace. Monomi was right. Monomi says blocking this bridge is gone. Then, if we cross this bridge, we should reach the new island. The feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed any lingering fear or nervousness I felt. I crossed the bridge that led to the new island. What the fuck? So that's this a is the third island. That's a titty. The is completely different compared to the previous islands. That's a titty typhoon. Titty? No, I must be fucking misreading. No, that says titty. That says titty typhoon. What the fuck is this game? What is this game? Titty titty typhoon? Huh? Game? What? Huh? What? What? The residences and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. For <laughs> fuck's sake. I mean, it looks like a... What is that? It's like South American type housing? Where it's like the, the different colored square buildings all up the side of a hill? I guess that kind of makes sense for this area. Um, not just that. There's definitely no sign of any people here either. Can we mention Titty Typhoon? It feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. Central Island, huh? Okay, there's a hospital. I'm just gonna do a once over. Titty Ty oh, it's a music venue, interesting. What have you done? Well, what's it gonna be? Oh, interesting. A motel? Okay, that's where someone's gonna die. Without a question, the body is gonna be in the motel. Electric Avenue. Electric Avenue. Electric Avenue. Movie theater. All right, so it's a hospital first. I think that's how the song goes. Isn't there a song, Electric Avenue? Electric Avenue. Looks like the hospital's lobby. The ambiance feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't want to be a patient here. Jesus Christ, what the fuck, woman? What? Holy shit. Oh, I'm sorry I scared you. But don't worry. Even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. 
the moment I have a heart attack, I'll definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. A Mekon. Uh, I think it'd be weirder if this was the place we could find people out of anywhere on this island. There has been no one anywhere. And just as I thought. Here too. Damn it. There's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? What? I noticed all the medical supplies are still here. But I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check them. <laughs> oh, that means I need to go check them, right? Understood. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash, so please don't hate me. Mikan frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? Interesting. Hospital hallway. Let's check everything in here first. Monitor. Every time Monica comes to the screen, they just have the bear. Security camera. Move the camera. We're slowly getting more EXP just by clicking on things. There's a paper on the bulletin board. Apparently, it's a hospital notes, but there's no one on this island. So, who's this notes written for? That's the outside. Okay, so it's just Gundam. <laughs> of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? How pitiful. I've said too much. Forgive what you heard for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information, and now he's already telling me to forget it. Oh, Mr. Mariner's playing Smash. Hospital Hall. Patient room and consultation room are beyond this point, right? Well, it's fine to leave it to Mekon. Oh, I'm sure that's not going to buy us the ass later. All right, well, leave the hospital, I guess. All right, Titty Typhoon. What a fucking name. If no one mentions this name, I'm going to be disappointed. This building, with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights, obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure. There's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. Is it really just the three things out here? Why did? Why is there even an outside? Wait, what the fuck is over there? I guess nothing to worry about. Man's camera. All right. Music venue entrance. What the fuck? Yahoo! What the? Yahoo! Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. <laughs> it's just so overwhelming, I can't help shouting it out. That's totally it! Because this is a music venue, right? Yeah, looks like it. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. I can't help feeling excited. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Did I say that twice? Huh? Huh? Did I say that twice? Are you okay? You're giving off a weird vibe. Yeah. Are you fucking... Are you a broken record? No problemo! <laughs> Not at all. I'm totally fine. No problemo! Not at all. I'm totally fine. Crap! Huh? Did I just say that twice again? Crap! Huh? Did I say that twice again? You don't look very okay. Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the beginning. Yahoo! I'll invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like that smug feeling you get when you explain something with a elaborate metaphor that nobody understands. I feel like I understand. But at the same time, I don't understand. Oh well. If you're really taking a liking to this magic venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. <laughs> leave it to me. Like, let me bite you. I'm tired. I should hurry up and get to it and check out another place. I'm tired. I'm tired to deal with your fucking nonsense. Alright, it's Monokuma. What the hell's this? Storage room. Okay. Staff only. Staff only? I'm staff. I'm the librarian. Probably some sort of storage room. Might as well check inside. Oh, okay. We're going there now. Shit.
interesting. A lot of different instruments, including drum sets and guitars. Looks like there's stage design stuff too. Paint, stage lights, wallpaper, and curtains. Hodge might be like, I fucking hate it here. Unmod me. Demod me. <laughs> Camera. Shelves. There's uh, carpeting, wallpaper, even different paints. Probably stuff used for livening up the stage design or live performances. Did I say medieval or musical? There's a lot of musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but there's also some instruments and machines I've never seen here before. Yeah, there's a... What, you have an, you have an electric guitar, an acoustic guitar different acoustic guitar, a banjo, a ukulele, and a lute. There's a weird box. A lot of stickers, the venue's logo placed in here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. Somewhat depressing. Is there like a Monokuma doll in here somewhere? I realized I completely forgot about Monokuma dolls until I got here. You see your whole body in this huge full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easier to check how you look. That's probably going to be important later. Step ladder. There are two step ladders next to each other. Must be required for stage design. They might even be used for stuff like film projects. There's one of well, probably one of these are going to go missing. And then there's a monitor. No Monokuma dolls anywhere. Oh. Alright. Yo, oh Bunty! <laughs> Yo! Can I get a shout out for Bunty? Yo, Bunty! Thank you for raiding! Yo! Yo, 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 yo! How was your stream? What'd you play? Welcome, welcome, Bunty! Yo! What up? How are you? <laughs> welcome, welcome, everyone! Thank you, Kaylee. I guess to all the new raiders who don't know me, uh, my name is Petrus, uh, Torelia, Demonian IV. Uh, stream was great, played Baldur's Gate. Yo, I know nothing about Baldur's Gate, but I know a lot of my friends from high school liked it, so I assume it's a really good game. I'll have to check it out one day. But yeah, I'm glad to hear your stream was good, but uh, uh, to, all, to all the people who don't know of me, uh, I play a uh, variety of games here on Twitch. And yeah, welcome, welcome. But thank you, Bunty. Thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you. We're just uh, we're just playing some some Danganronpa two, you know. Just continuing on. We are on chapter three of the story. If anyone has ever played this, this is the baton lighting control panel. Apparently, you can use controlled baton lighting with this. Interesting. I lurk now. Gonna eat and watch TV for a bit. Okay. Take care, Bunty. Thank you for the lurk and thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Full stage. There's a stage. I'll probably never have the chance to be in limelight. Take care, Bunty. Yeah, take care. Man, why is fucking Hajime getting all mopey and shit? Okay, let's just talk to Sonya now. Amazing! What a splendid place, Hajime. This must be the fabled disco. Disco? See? It's where young, it's where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and lamb lam, lambadas. I have no clue what Sonya is talking about. All right, do you have anything to say? <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. All right, goodbye, Titty Typhoon. <laughs> goodbye, rest well. Is there really nothing else out here? I feel like that there should be something out here, but I guess not. And we'll continue on with our island search. Motel. Air conditioned. Oh boy. You know you're in the fucking backwoods when that's an advertisement. It's a small building with a guest accommodation and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen them before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one in person. Oh, that's a blessing. <laughs> what a rundown motel. It looks pretty unsanitary, too. 
It's just like Hajime's house. You've never seen my house. Oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. <laughs> anyway, this one is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? But... But we gotta make sure we check it thoroughly. It's possible there might be a clue to here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around here doing nothing? Hey! You're probably too vulgar for this, but there's a saying. Praise a fool and you may make him useful. What's that supposed to mean? So... Akane was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. It, if her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. I hate this child. <laughs> With a passion. Every time Monokuma shows up on these screens, I get a chill that makes my heart leap. Cameras. Advanced camera. Beyond that, Monokuma is you no know, they're controlling Monokuma. Yes. And then is it car? I wouldn't call this a car. This is a this is a fucking motorcycle with a body strapped onto it. A run-down, rusted, and rotting car. Someone abandoned. Huh. Maybe it'll start up if I keep staring at it. Hajime, I don't understand your humor. Jokes are supposed to be funny. A bunch of similar looking private rooms. The insides look probably look all the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty. There's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect in a crime movie. If it's just enough to stay the night, the cottage is good enough. Okay, so there's like nothing here. Interesting. No Monokuma dolls either. What the fuck do you What do you want? Why are you Monomi? Why did this thing become Monami? Do I get something out of this? Because it's Monami? Let's go down to Electric Cavern. Electric Cavern. Interesting. A bunch of street booths filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alley. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait, with this many machines, we can probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? It looks like it's best if we search around here. Is that a Monokuma doll? Why is he... I've been found! Why is he in a poncho and a sombrero? Also, holy shit, I just realized I have 230 coins. <laughs> holy shit. Warrior Corner. What is this? There's so many machines, just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used for. Uh, uh, I don't really recommend that section. Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff there. It's all machines and stuff used for, like, wiretapping or recording secret videos. <laughs> Looks like there's some ancient-looking surveillance cameras, too. Machines used for recording secret videos. Huh? Ah, hey, don't get it twisted. Just, I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, all right? No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, we're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous. Because what does he even see when he's watching Miss Sonya? Bro, 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 bro moment. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Ew, I know. Ugh. He's never... He says he's never even used those before. If I let him be, he's the type of person who will eventually use them. Man's camera. Da, da, da. Television corner. A lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They all look really old. Looks like they're not designed for terrestrial digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. It looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. Hey, yo, CRT TVs that can act as a lifter to your microwave uh, time machine. 
Take notes, kids. Steins Gate. Various desktops and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old fashioned and run down, they all look like they can be used. Oh, whoa? Mm hmm. I forget, Kaylee, did you watch Steins Gate with us? I forget if you were there. I know if we can connect to the internet. I might be able to call for help, please. No, I didn't. Go watch it. It's amazing. As soon as I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop and pulled it out of the pile and turned it on. Okay, yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yo, we got fucking Windows 95 in here? I tried to see if it connects to the internet. No use. Looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'd be that easy. But just when I was about to give up, my eyes noticed a strange icon arranged on the desktop. Usami X-File. What is this? That thing I clicked on that strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the report, it looks like it's some kind of report. Based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. It's amazing how my brain fucked that up. About the most, about the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in all of human history. The horrendous event originated with so the students of Hopesby Academy, the students of the Re Rev Reserve Department, dissatisfied with the treated different. Scan across the words displayed on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated with some students of Hope Speak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the Reserve Department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the Primary Department and began to fight the Academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus, and hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup... 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 coup d'etat. Coup d'etat? How the fuck do you say this word? It's French. I think it's coup d'etat? Coup d'etat? Coup d'etat? Coup... coup d'etat. Uh... It seemed to have... Seemed, it seemed to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to this subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It's both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subversive movement of full, uh, full of despair. Post Peak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a, le as a lesson in despair. EXE? OXO? Uh, I don't know of any actual word that has blank x blank x maybe but x doesn't make any sense it's no use the words are too garbled to read beyond the, this point but what is this boy <laughs> tough crowd hmm how normal it's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction. It's actually quite novel. Now I'm really angry. <laughs> hey, can you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be? Are you the one who created this file? What's this? My, my. What makes you think that? B because it's obviously the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Riots in various parts of the world. And Hope Speak Academy getting involved? Sounds like something stupid you'd make up. And? And? What's Hope Speak Academy's reserve department? I've never even heard of that before. Wah wah? Hmm? Really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the one who knows about it. What do you mean? I guess you forgot about it. Along with the memories of your school life. So it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that file said something about the students who survived. Is that referring to us? And the rest of that file is... Hey, hey, hey! Hold on a sec, you guys! Hey, hey! Just, what the heck have you been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. 
<laughs> Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These are the things that truly don't make any sense. What are you saying? So you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares? Fuck, this is me. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? No. I wouldn't know an important story like that. Because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. Damn it. He ran away again. Ah. Hey, hi, Jimmy. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's making all that up. That's it. That's definitely it. Oh, you're here too. What is this, parts? There's a lot of electric appliance in this mess, including home appliances and acoustic equipment. All these look old. Do they even still work? Alright. Monitor. Hey, there's a microwave. Yo. We can put that over the fucking CRTs and we can go back in time. Teru Teru would have never used this old microwave. He would have proudly used the latest kitchen equipment and cooked the world's tastiest dishes. With those dishes, he would have made a lot of people smile. But that's no longer... I mean, honestly, fucking we're better off without him. I'm not gonna lie to you, Teru Teru is like my least favorite character in this game, so fucking oh well. So this is the cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get reception. Even with all the variety, they might as well be paperweights. Somehow, it looks like she's fishing things out of the pile of electrical appliances. Here, Key, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah, I was wondering if there were any game consoles in here. Sometimes old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you're doing. Um... I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll settle for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yep. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of that previous incident. Is there anything here? Alright, uh, talk to Soda, I guess. Huh? Are you serious? Are you shitting me? What happened? I thought you'd be happier about being surrounded by so much machinery. Of course not! Uh, don't say stupid things. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then you should look happier. You... Dude, I'm trying to understand how I'm feeling. <laughs> I have this unexplainable conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that kind of feeling. But why... Why do you feel so conflicted? Huh? There's all this machinery here. Oh, uh, damn, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them and look inside. That's how I usually think, right? Aw, oh, man. But not all the time for me to do something like that. That's why I'm feeling so conflicted. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Huh? Hell yeah. It's like, you have, to, you have the hots for a chick, you want to take off her clothes, right? You want to check out the bone structure, right? Like her ribs, and where part of her bones stick out, right? That's not normal. That's a pretty acro that's a that's a pretty acrobatic sex fetish. <laughs> Why the fart? Why the fart? You serious? <laughs> Seriously? Uh. I see. Uh, so wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I mean, skeletons are kind of the same. They're skeletons. It's kind of weird, not gonna lie. Kind of cringe, bro. Kind of cringe. Alright, movie theater. Alright. Any Monokuma dot. Welcome! <laughs> We're currently showing right now, so please wait five minutes for next showing to start. Showing? What does that even mean? What are you saying? <laughs> are your eyes just for show? Look around. This is a movie theater, right? Of course! Then I'm obviously showing a movie. Showing a movie. I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say this is the next motive, right? Like, just like Twilight Syndrome murder case. I'm definitely not gonna watch your movie, whatever it is. I'm gonna not. Gonna, I'm never gonna see it. My goodness. And I was thinking about giving you an invitation ticket. Damn it! 
but I won't allow you to not watch it. I went through a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch it, I'm gonna be sad. I'm sure your movie is no different than the game you made. No, no! That game was a shoddy piece of crap. But this movie is definitely gonna be a masterpiece. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow as long as long as I refuse to allow it, you'll never have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma! <laughs> On this island, my word is law. If I don't watch it, what are you gonna do about it? What the heck? There's no way I'd allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I'd allow it. But what are you gonna do? Yo, what up, Froyo? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? How are you? Christ, I just repeated the same thing. <laughs> I've been awake for too long today. Went to fucking school. I'll forgive you if you purchase a Monokuma sticker at the goods counter over there. Monokuma sticker. Oh, this is just Monokuma. Ah. Another doll. Gimme, gimme. I knew you could do it. <laughs> also, yes. On work. Welcome back. Welcome back, Hannah. Welcome back. Alright. What's this poster? It's a video game poster. Huh? Looks like, yeah, this is Danganronpa. Uh, another. It's like the, the... This is the Despair Girls, right? I'm definitely gonna buy that. Subtle. Subtle game. I used to work in a movie theater. It was awful. It's a food shop. A lot of things like popcorn, sandwiches, and drinks are all arranged here. There's some strange goods on top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth with a decal of Monami's face on it. No. Ah, did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag used for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited item. Only one person can have it. And by the way, apparently tote bags were originally invented to carry around ice. Mm -hmm. So how about it? Wanna buy it? I'll pass. Okay. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll just be upfront with you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too upfront. Is this sticker? Is this the sticker you were talking about? I'm sorry, I was born stupid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I'm sorry, I was born stupid. Oh my god. Oof. It's not funny. Are you serious? That's fucking hilarious. That's that's fuck. That's that's the funniest thing I've ever seen, and I don't understand its purpose. How half-assed is this? Actually, <laughs> to tell you the truth, this very lucky sticker I received from a wandering miracle-working priest. What? Hey, could, could be yours for the special price of only one point five million dollars. One point five million dollars. Don't mess with me. I didn't even have that kind of money. Then you can pay me back whenever you get off the island. If you don't like it, you can always just watch my... Fine. I'll pay it. I don't believe it! <laughs> well, I'm surprised. As long as I can re as long as I can pay it after I get out of here, I'll pay anything. Even $1.5 million. <laughs> You're the first person to ever pay $1.5 million for the sticker. In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie. Huh. That makes me a sad Monokuma. Yeah! If I'm gonna make a huge profit, it's okay. I'm a mascot who has a hobby of counting money after all. You're the worst mascot ever. Here! Come on, take it, thief. And slap it on your forehead, thief. Take advantage of this divine opportunity, thief. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would be. It's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to pay so much money for this piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. <laughs> Whoa there. It looks like the showing is over. Alrighty, I gotta co collect those questionnaires. At that moment, Monokuma started humming and skipped away towards the door leading into the theater. Slam. The door opened violently and one person appeared from within. Hey! Hey! Ah, Nagito! 
please answer my questionnaire? Jeez, it doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring it was torture. Minutes felt like weeks while I was watching it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. I guess that's what art is. Because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. <sighs> I thought I was gonna I thought it was gonna be another motive, but I guess it's not the case. What a letdown. If money would have settled this, I should have just settled it with money. Nagato is so depressed. That movie must have been really, really bad. Definitely made the right call by not watching it. Alright, what do you- what, what? Ugh. I'm so tired from boredom. If money would have gotten me out of seeing it, I should have just settled it with money. Let me ask you something. If you were told you could pay $1.5 million and not watch the movie, well, that's I, obvious. I'd gladly pay it. <laughs> Anything. Quick answer. That movie must have been that bad, huh? Rightio. Oh, well, fuck. I didn't want to go back outside. Please wait. Ah, uh, well, fuck. I didn't get to talk about it. Ah, fuck. Oh, well. Hajime, over here. Please hold on. Sonia. Did something happen? Well? Just now I went to the hospital and it appears Mikon has made a very serious discovery at the hospital. A very serious discovery? At the hospital? It's not strange drugs or thick needles or anything like that, right? Hajime, it appears you are the same as me. Huh? See? It's the same as if... It's the same as if I turn around, he's there. But I also remember that person in the wind. What are you talking about? Jeez, are you so unrefined? It's Japanese legendary medical drama. Right, of course. That person in the wind aired in 1984 and set the standard for every trendy drama that followed. Well? It's about a righteous rookie doctor and elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. Hold on. Why do you know so much about the old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> anyway, please hurry. We'll be waiting at the patient's room in the back of the hospital's first floor. The patient room at the back of the hospital's first floor. I don't really understand, but I might as well head over to the hospital. Hello there. Drink first, fuck. All right. You're late, Hajime. Looks like you're the late last one. Are the others already here? Yep. They are, there are patient rooms lying in the hallways, but everyone apparently is gathered in the room in the very back. You're not going with me, Petrus? I return from my smashing endeavors. Welcome back. How was it? You're not going with them? <laughs> Miss Sonia, as expected from the ultimate princess, she cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of us common folk. But nonetheless, I know my place. I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. Since it's going to be such a touching scene, a worthless thing like me should just be a nuisance, right? Touching scene. Yo, thank you, Hannah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you for hosting. Thank you, thank you. My hero was a little crusty. But you know, my DK and Falcon be clapping still. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the boss check and the hydrate, Hannah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ah. Okay. Alright, fucking... Let me close this. Alright, there we go. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Played some fun games with Sync, though. It was nice to play some Smash Hero. Sink. Do I know Sink? Sink. Is, is Sink on the server? I don't know. They're in the Discord. Oh, is it Vamp? Wait, is it Vamp? I think I think Vamp's name starts with Sink, doesn't it? Their Twitch name, at least. A touching scene. I... Hajime. I'm jealous of you. Jealous? Of me? Oh, it might be? 
I mean, I don't know anyone else named Sync. I think Sync is in Vamp's name, his Twitch name. I think it's like Sync, Sync, Synchrotic Vamp or something. I think that's his name. I might be wrong. Jealous of me. Hey. You don't know what your talent is. You're showing no distress. And you're even opening up to everyone. Great. It must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? Well. No, not at all. Mm. But still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really possess. Since you dragged it out this long already, I'm sure it must be an appropriately magnificent talent. Uh, who knows? It's not only like it's my fault for dragging this out. You're right. Sorry. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please go on ahead. Take care. After all that, why did what did he really want to say to me? Is there a Monokuma doll in here? Monokuma doll? No. Okay. Hospital hallway. Oh boy. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is that? Is that an alien? What the fuck? What is happening? Evan. Uh huh. Yeah, I think so. Uh, he's not as trash as he would let you. As he would let you on, though. We played some solid games. Highly less than solid connection. Hey! Not bad. Okay. Uh, room one. Patient's room. Everyone should be out of the patient in the back hallway. Oh. Oh, we're just forcing me to do this? Okay. At the back of the hall. What? So this? Number four? Number four? The best number? I hear voices on the other side of the door. Hey, yo. This hospital is, uh... <laughs> Not looking so fresh. Yeah, it's uh, kind of dingy, kind of smelly, kind of fucking reeks in here. Sounds like they're all, they're all really here. But what are they doing here? I had a feeling something was bad was happening again. Cautiously, I opened the door. Huh? Couldn't help raising my voice. What? You all look like you've seen a ghost. Hey, he's alive. What a shame. Hiko, are you alright? <laughs> it's just a scratch. Is it now? That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Right, of course. Um. Earlier, I asked Monokuma and he showed me his medical records. There's a lot of sword-related wounds. But they were relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Oh. Considering how fiercely he was attacked, this is pretty miraculous. <laughs> <laughs> You're a ballsy one. Is this what's called having the devil's luck? Is that so? Right, he just can't die. Forgot about that about his character. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know he's just he's just immune to the whole death thing. Yeah, he's just fucking you know yucky splinky immortality. You know how it is. Who knows? Maybe this wasn't luck. Well. Maybe, Peko gave her life to protect Fuyuhiko. Are you serious? She protected him while he, she was getting attacked by that horde of marionettes. But still. But if we really wanted to protect Fuyuhiko at all costs, it's not strange to think that she would have done that. No. I think it's better if we think about it like that. You... You think so too, right, Fuyuhiko? That must have been what you thought. There's no way you can die, right? Who knows? Bro, I don't think you were in a position to be rolling onto that side. After forcing us... After forcing out those words, Fuyuhiko turned on his, on his bed away from us and stopped talking. Um. Um. I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'd be bad if he overexerted himself. Yeah, I fucking I assume they haven't fully healed. It's been a night. 
It's, I, I mean, I'd be amazed if it's been 12 hours. Be bad if he overexerted himself. No need to worry. I'll take care of him for the time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. Now then. You hear that, Fuyu Ego? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me. <laughs> I'll be the one who avenges you. That's obviously wrong. Seriously, he's not dead. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you. Turning onto the side with my thumb on it and putting pressure on that shoulder can make my thumb throb. This motherfucker got stabbed. <laughs> this motherfucker got yoink. It wasn't just stab, it was a slash. It was like a fucking like top of head to like bottom of torso slash, like across him. Um, you shouldn't, you know, talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on! Hey yo, is that puddle? What it do, my guy? What it do? How you doing? How was I assume you're home from work? How was work? Nice voice acting. I'm trying my best. I am awful at women. Yo, Polo, what good gamer? <laughs> gamer. Akane, Fuyuhiko has finally come back to us. You better not do anything reckless. I can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. Work was alright, didn't need lunch, so eating now. Ooh, what'd you get? What'd you get, gamer? Get that good nom noms? Move! I know that. You just have to win, right? This is bad. This is bad. She doesn't, she doesn't understand at all. The fuck you saying? I said, so what did you get to eat, gamer? Wait, can you not hear me when I do gruff voices? Is it like fucking, is it like bad on the mic? Or is the game too loud? No, I heard nom noms. Oh, <laughs> I said, what did you get to eat, gamer? You got that good nom noms? <laughs> She doesn't understand at all. Then... <laughs> then do whatever you want. Hey, Nakamaru. Sheesh. You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen once her mind is made up. I know that all too well. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However... However... I'm never gonna do it to you again. Huh? It? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that's what I heard. <laughs> nom noms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nom noms. It's like that one. Puddle, have you never heard of nom noms? Have you have you never Puddle? What is happening in the game? Okay, so you know how I don't know if you were here at the end of last stream we did play this. But you know how at the end, what is it? I think they're talking about fighting. But we're in the hotel room because Mafia Boy back there got fucking stabbed and uh, he's healing and I assume they're talking about fighting. Oh, that F word. <laughs> yeah, fighting. Not f <laughs> no, these are high schoolers. I think. Please keep your voices down. You're the loudest one here. Hey! hey wait a second, Ikumaru. It was my first time. I never thought something like that. Fuck's sake. I never thought something that feels so good even exist in this world. My body still hasn't forgotten. And now you're saying you're just gonna stop all of a sudden? It's hot. Look, my body's getting all hot again just thinking about it. Hey, 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 you're kidding me. I is it what I think it is? Huh? If you're not going to heed my warning, it's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. <laughs> Fighting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's sus. Ah, bruh. <laughs> bruh. As he spat those words, Nekumaru left the patient's room. Wait! Hold on. I can't live without it. <laughs> Monk and TOS. Ahoy, Hannah. Mm-hmm. With a voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on to Nekumaru, Akane rushed out of the patient's room. Oh, my. I wonder what all that was about. <laughs> huh. It's finally quiet. It's such bad manners to raise your voice inside a hospital. How pitiful. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey, Hiyoko? It's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. But I guess it makes sense. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Mahiru killed by Peko. And Hiyoko was nearly framed as her killer. There's no way she is just going to get over that. Hey, why are you making such a scary face? You know, right? 
like no matter what it means it right he's still talking about it <laughs> he's still fucking talking about it. hey 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 suspicious it's definitely suspicious sus Whoa. all we gotta do is follow them you think so too right a fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno why is there so many people here all right talk to the fucking talk to this moron he's being completely silent and staring at the window it's best if i don't make the injured talk needlessly i should just leave him alone right now i think i figured out what i'm gonna make for dinner Ooh, what'd you get what'd you figure out gamer Is there any Monokuma dolls in this room? Anything? Anything at all? I don't know who the fuck. Ch I'm just talking to Chiki, I guess. Oh, I leveled up nice. Now that I have some peace of mind, I'm getting sleepy. I should go home for today. Same here. All that walking just wore me out. Sleepy. Yeah. So let's go home. Let's go home and get some sleep. She fell asleep while she was talking. How tired is she? What should we do? Is we're gonna call it quits for today? We can talk about it tomorrow. I know we are all tired from all the walking we've done today. Um, um please leave Fuyuhiko to me. I will make sure he's nursed back to health. I'll do my best. I'll do my best to nurse him back to health so I won't be hated. She's still glaring. We got two pounds of ground beef in the fridge, so I'm gonna dice some potatoes and bell peppers and maybe some onion and saute them in a pan with the beef. Let's fucking go. Make hot sauce and season up. Let's go. For now, we decided to call it a day and head back to our cottages. Walking all day wore us out, but the exhaustion we felt might also be a feeling of relief. Ooh, sounds good. It does. It does. Let me figure out what the fuck I'm having for dinner. I'm probably having tacos again. Remind me around like 6 p.m. ish to go put my fucking taco meat out to thaw at like 7 p.m. I don't know how long the stream's gonna go. I arrived at my cottage much earlier than usual. I fell into a deep, deep sleep. Man, man, I'm coming over. Let's go. What are you thinking? Hmm? You admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know? They immediately attack people in groups because they don't have any friends themselves, you know? They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad and I won't forgive you and laugh, you know? They're lazy people who run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know? They're willing to use weapons even if they're fighting someone who is alone or unarmed, you know? They're always the winner, so they don't know what it's like having weakling store worries, you know? And when and then they like to wear flash costumes, you know? Which means they're a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn elitists who don't have many friends. Emergency! Emergency! Do you really want to admire people like that? I'm about to have five plus pounds of food here, so we're gonna have leftovers for sure. Let's go! Well, leftovers are fucking amazing. I love having leftovers. VTubers with more than 10k followers. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm super popular. I have 10k followers on Twitch.tv. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another perfect tropical day! Now then! Let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Whew. It's been a while since... It's, it's been a while since I've slept a lot. My head feels clearer thanks to that. Alright, I should head over to the restaurant. I think I'm gonna lurk and stream real quick. I'm gonna pop over to my local grocer and get like three pounds of potatoes. Alright, take care, take care. And, uh... Be safe driving. I don't know if it's still icy up where you are, but I know there are some patches on my roads that are still a little a little icy. But, you know, take care, drive safe, and all that jazz. But thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. It's just cold as fuck right now. <laughs> all right, that's fair. I know today it wasn't that bad. It was like 40-something around here. Yeah, this winter kind of mid-IMO. Yeah, it's crazy how global warming does that. <laughs> 
not too much ice or snow, just cold as shit. No, fucking, we've gotten so much fucking snow in comparison to normal. The temp has been annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Based, Petrus? Hey, yo, bro, I'm always based. Are you kidding me? I'm over here fucking equality for everyone. I hate all of you. And then fucking <laughs> global warming is ruining our winters. Jumping from 40 degrees yesterday to below zero today. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I swear to God. Tennessee, all right, there was one week I remember. Uh, it was like the first time it snowed this winter. Uh, on, a, on the Tuesday, I remember because I had class on the Tuesday. On the Tuesday, it was like fucking it's like 72 as the high, all right? And then like on Wednesday, there was a tornado warning, okay? Thursday night, it fucking snowed. So it's like, what the fuck is happening? It's like a fever dream of a weather week. Alright, I should probably head over to the restaurant. Not anymore, like, Monokuma dolls hidden in here? No? This winter has been the only time ever recorded that tornado happened in December in Minnesota. Damn. No, we get tornadoes. Pretty, pretty, pretty regularly around here. Uh, I say pretty regularly. It's a, it's, it's like, you know, there's not like any particular month where they like don't happen. Like I remember the tornado that hit my house back in 2018. It happened, it happened on November 6th. So it was, uh, it was quite the chilly uh, issue we had to deal with. The faces of everyone who gathered at the restaurant all look somewhat lighthearted. Everyone must be really happy that Fuyuhiko is safe. Then... Um, on t uh, uh, bid bid. um, the day ended halfway yesterday, so let us try to put together the information about the new island. Jeez! In the end, we couldn't even find a way to escape from the island, right? Seriously, you guys are useless. Yes! <laughs> but there's a music venue! I see. I got that. But what about the clues that we really need? Clues like information about the island or anything that might help us understand what's happening to us <laughs> in this town all those machines i found a clue contained within a file on the laptops you saw that too um i was told about that by nagato so i checked it out as well this too must be the will of causality i saw it too it's about the fact that hope's peak academy has already been destroyed <laughs> Hope Academy has been destroyed? Well, it's probably just another one of Monokuma's pranks. There's no way Hope Peak Academy would fall. But even if it is a prank, it's not something this, that he should be allowed to do. Damn it. Symbol of hope getting destroyed? It's not something you should even joke about. <laughs> well, if you're still wondering about it, you might be better just to confirm it yourself. <laughs> If I remember to do, fuck, if I remember to do it, I'll give it a try. How so basically, on that island, we found no way to escape, nor any useful clues this time around. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's this time again, not this time around. <laughs> you don't have to correct us each time. See? However, it's not all bad news. Fuyuhiko will be able to return to us. <laughs> That guy pisses me off, but it sure makes me happy to think he's going to come back to us. He's recovering extremely well, so I'm pretty sure he can be discharged from the hospital in one week. However, <laughs> he's probably lost the er use of his right eye forever. <laughs> he totally deserves that. Man. Hey, aren't you going a little too far? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I sure did eat. I'm stuffed today, too. Jeez. You certainly eat a lot, without even listening to what others are saying. Um... Okay then, once I'm stuffed, I'll go ch I should go train now. Oh? Train, you say? You hate training. How rare of you. Yo! <laughs> if I don't do it, I won't get stronger. I have to do it. Bye now. Oh my my! She's like, really pumped up. Huh? Hmm. Hope she's not thinking about doing anything bad. With that, our morning meeting ended, and we all went back to our cottages. Hey, yo, free time? Now then, what should I do today? Free time? 
Okay, we're gonna go to the gotcha. That's this is this that's the shower. I don't need the shower. We can actually go do the fucking gotcha now. Baby, let's go. Why aren't you here? I don't want to talk to you. I just want to... Yeah, give it a shot. Let's go. I mean, any of the uh, duplicate presents we get, we can actually give the fucking pet. Not, it's not all bad. Getting duplicates. Just wish I could um, do this a bit faster. return rate for it being you know basically 75 oh there's the Junko portrait I guess that's a, that's a fucking gecko with a bow. That's like a makeup thing, I guess. I don't know. That's just a rock. Bread. Junko portrait. See, I'm really interested because there is a lot of like connections between the games, right? Like, there's Junko's portrait. There's Mukuro's knife. There's a lot of like small connections between the games. Um, so I'm wondering if there is going to be like a bigger, like I want uh, like a bigger reveal later, or if it's just going to all be separate games with just small references to each other. Let's go. We've crossed the three quarters mark. Music is bopping. The music is bopping. I will say, for a menu that takes fucking forever to like get things out of, the fucking at least the music's good. You know what I mean? Ba 
What the fuck is that? What the fuck? What? I'm actually curious. I want to look that one up. Oh, there's Mukuro's money. <laughs> Ramoon? Interesting. Coconut Blue Rams. I want to get rid of all these news, so I'm just going to spam this button real fast. Okay. Uh, what was that weird white thing? Look like a fucking bat. This. Falcor's Muffler. A muffler crafted from the fur of legendary Luck Dragon. It's swelteringly hot to wear. A land of a troll. Interesting. Okay, so it's a weeb thing. Alright. <laughs> More coins. I don't like that. What is that? I don't like that. Interesting. Apparently we've gotten it already. What the fuck? What was that? I don't like something that's just a tower that has the male gender sign next to it. Sus as fuck. What was that? Male cylinder? Laboratory instrument with a masculine symbol on it. Organic synthesis is possible by combining this with the measuring clock. What? 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 Over here playing God? Ooh, I got lucky. Wow, it's in the picture of Junko. I got a rock. What is it? An avocado! Yay! Thanks! Interesting. Man, I low-key want an avocado right now? Bro, why? <laughs> why? I don't know. I mean, that's fair. I don't think I've ever had an avocado. I think I've tasted guac before. And it really wasn't... I don't know, it wasn't up to my taste. Maybe I just had a bad one, but like, or just had an avocado. Avocado is weird sometimes, but I like it. Ah, that's fair, that's fair. One second. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. My sister was telling me just that she's leaving to go to her class. It's kind of like how I view you, Kaylee. <laughs> ah, you're just weird sometimes. Checks out, checks out. Q W Q.
Ah, fuck. <laughs> ah, ha. Damn. <laughs> it was a good thing. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sure. Sure. Sure it is. <laughs> it's okay. You're weird too. <laughs> I mean, we all are when you think of it. I want my 69k back, so... Ow. Damn. Damn. I can't believe this. Kaylee, do you have the thing turned on? The the Frankerface Z thing, where you just... Where, like, auto... It auto-collects the chest for you. Or do you watch on mobile? I don't know. I don't think so. Do you have Frankerface Z installed on your browser? Probs not. Okay. Remind me tonight and I'll fucking walk you through how to make it do that. I have Grammarly installed. Well, that's not useful. <laughs> Bro, I fucking... I know. <laughs> I... <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> um, I, I, this class I'm going to, this class I just went to today, the first day of class, I realized... Uh, I didn't know this going into this class. Um, apparently there's a fucking book report that I need. Oh, Lurk, no, no. All right. Take care, Hannah. I appreciate the Lurk. Thank you, thank you. I need a fucking book report for this class. And it's like, damn. Why the fuck do I need a book report for a fucking information system class? What are you... What the fuck are you doing to me? The entire reason I'm taking this fucking major is because I don't have to write any papers or anything. And you're over here being like, yo, you need a book report? It's like, what? Huh? What? And it's like doing the first like three weeks of class. And it's like, what the fuck? Book report on what? A book? Haley? I gotta read a book and write a report on it. What else do you think book reports are? A book report on a game manual. Mm-hmm. Any book? No, no, no. I don't fucking remember what the book's called. It's like fucking how to be a team player or some, some bullshit. This entire fucking class, this teacher is like, all right, I'm going to make this class. This is not going to be a lecture class. This is not going to be a class where um, there's lectures and there's not going to be um, something else. But she's like, it's a discussion based class. All right. We're going to come. We're going to do arts and crafts stuff. We're going to build teamwork. All right. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is a fucking class for a computer science major. Like, what the fuck? What are we doing? Ew, you have to talk? I know. Wah. How you doing, Zed? Welcome, welcome. Dead. How you doing, son? Like... Like, most of our assignments are literally just, you read this chapter, you write down 10 things you've learned in the chapter that are not, like, copy-pasted from the book. And then you have to ask three questions, right, that are not context. Like, like not solved by context. Uh, which is like, you know, you can't ask, like, oh, what's the definition of this? Do this on your phone real quick? I can't. The issue with my phone is my phone is currently my camera. Translate 5010 Hall to French and then play audio. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm good, Zed. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what the fuck it is, but I I I I I, I ain't trust him. Man, so close. Mm -hmm. This is a these nuts joke. No, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've heard that one before. <laughs> it is. <laughs> is that a fucking Danny DeVito emote? What is that? Danny Dora May. What the fuck? Because it's like... Because 10 is like dicks in French, I think. I don't remember. Ah. Makes sense. Fuck. Danny Dorito. I hate... I hate these... I hate these emotes. Why would you... Why would you waste an emote slot on that? <laughs> Yo, what up, Flame? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> We're currently just running through all the fucking coins that I've had. Because I keep forgetting to spend them. Danny Dorito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that one's cute. I like that one. I like the cute anime emotes. The the the, the fucking Danny DeVito ones are uh, funny. I wouldn't want them as a permanent emote slot. That's like that's like some like BTTV shit that I would want. Is that Raiden? Yeah, it's Shogun Smug. Oh my god. I wonder how do you can you just have those as emotes? Like, I assume. I assume Genshin would get mad if you, like, use their characters. Oh, there's Bennett. Alright. And then fucking <laughs> Kazuo with a simp. I guess they're fine. I mean, it isn't an emote. That riding one? Yeah, that riding one's good. What is the fucking PP coin? What is this? Oh, there's the female flask. Awesome. We can create a homunculus now. <laughs> PP. Mm hmm. Big PP. Man, I'm realizing in like my relaxed state, because I'm like leaning forward a little bit, my fucking model looks hella pissed. <laughs> Daddy's big pee pee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's me. Don't that 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 that. Pierce me, fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, Zed. <laughs> Monk ass, fucking. The fuck is that? It's just a video of a guy winking. Man, some people, some people are really strange emotes. I guess that's what brings people to their channel. You know, everyone's got to have a hook. I'm almost positive I have like three people who, who <laughs> the only reason they're still subscribed to me is the fact that uh, they like my fucking uh, emotes. Which is 100% fair. No fault of them. A mod check? What is that? Oh my god. I don't like how it's skin toned. That's a weird uh that's a weird one. Oh 
Well, let's go. We're in the we're in the 90s now. We've almost got all the presents. What the fuck is that one? People are happy. <laughs> I love how it's so fucking small. It's only taking up like half the damn box. Is that just a Dorito? I think that's a global one, isn't it? Yeah, that's a global. That's just a Dorito. That one's just stupid. Yeah, we have a, there's a lot of Twitch default emotes that are that are dumb. That one's one of them. <laughs> hmm. Monka. Hmm. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> me, <laughs> you, me. <laughs> those are good. I like those. Fucking finger pointing back. <laughs> oh my god. Text my sister real fast. I'll keep doing this the best of my ability. Um, cause I want to know if we're getting food. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's very hard to type one-handed on a phone that is on a tripod. We're almost done. Just 18 left. Oh, kid. <laughs> I like that one. I like that one a lot. Fucking... <laughs> Quintel's manka as fuck's sake. Damn, Flame, you got a lot of fucking subscriptions. He's over here, the emote king. <laughs> fucking the, the what? What? It's gonna be kind of annoying. Now, don't worry, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. I know it is. Believe you me. <laughs> we got two more. Just two more. Just two more. I leave. Petra's doing Dango Gacha. I come back. What's this man still doing? I just finished. Silence. Peasant. Plebeian. Miscreant. I finished the fucking. I finished it. Don't talk to me. Who can I romance now? Wait, who's available? Have you pooped? Good. Who's still alive that can romance? I can't romance you anymore because you're dead. Uh, actually, I was going for you. Go for you. You're on that beach I just left. Cool. Look up what the fuck she likes. Yo. Oh, it's you. I'm busy training right now. Go away. 
Which I do, should I invite Akne? Invite Akne to hang out. Alright! Ah. Uh, Kane. Gifts. Don Gone 2. Okay. That's right. She's the weird one who only likes two things. Or she only likes she only loves two things. She likes a lot of things. That's literally my type. Yeah, let's go. And then you have to train too? Got it. I devoted myself to training with Akane today. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Akane a present? Definitely. Would you like to give her? Well, it's either prepackaged or Zoto or Century Pot Purdy. We don't have that one, so we better have number 86. Number 86. We don't have any of either of these again. Fuck. Bro, how have we fucking managed to not get a either of these? Okay, well, she has a bunch of likes. She likes Ramoon. We'll give her a Ramoon. Non-alcoholic <laughs> wine? Isn't that just grape juice? No. It's different. It's like non-alcoholic beer. I fucking... I don't understand the point of non-alcoholic beer. I'll be honest with you. Beer tastes like shit. And I asked someone... I asked someone who was buying it when I was working at Walmart. I was like, why do you buy non-alcoholic beer? And they're like, I just like the taste of it. And I'm like, I'm like, really? And they go, yeah, it tastes good. I just don't want to get drunk. I'm like, interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing, Kaylee. Oh, you're giving this to me? <laughs> you know me so well. <laughs> Thanks. You. You look pretty bumped. Are you even eating? Um, Hank? My name is Hajime. You only got the H right. More importantly, why are you so full of energy? Why do you buy non-alcoholic beer? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't get paid enough to ask me questions. No, okay. What it was is I'm, I I worked at the self-checkout, right? So he was buying self... Uh, he, was, he was doing the self-checkout and he was buying non-alcoholic beer. And for some reason, you still need to be 21 years old to get non-alcoholic beer. I don't know why. But it still makes me card them. So I start. I brought the comments. I was like, I didn't know they made non-alcoholic beer. He goes, yeah. And I was like, why would you buy this? And he goes, I like the taste of it. Hank Jume. Hank Jume. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More importantly, why are you so full of energy? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it obvious? There's some yummy food, soft blankets. My room doesn't leak when it rains. This place is way better than where I grew up. Seriously? Even in this kind of situation? Um... Um... You know how it is. It's not that strange to find a dead body in the dump in the morning. Where are you from? Uh, a trashy place where people are, where crap people are all swept together. Stuff like that happens all the time. How can you say that's like it's no big deal? What kind of environment was she raised in? But anyway, since we never had any money, I did whatever I could to earn cash. <laughs> Even sold my used panties to a noisy pig who kept oinking panties panties. By the time I was able to legally work part-time, I didn't have to run away anymore. So when you mentioned parkour before, you were talking about that. Well, that probably just laid the foundation for being a gymnast. What kind of part-time jobs did you do? Well, you probably did stuff like manual labor. Huh. <laughs> well, I did a lot of things. For some reason, my mom's boyfriends always pushed me into weird jobs. Huh? Like? At first, they, one of them told me all I needed to do was serve food. I never expected him to tell me to do it like that. Pretty sure Akane was talking about being a waitress, but kind of waitress uh, bruh yeah um, mayhaps perchance there's a guide for this one yeah uh huh it's uh No, 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 Puddle. Roller skater cosplay. They're both wrong. It's the middle one. It's the middle one according to this fucking dialogue guide. Alright, here we go. Yep, there's the correct sound. 
What? Huh? What happened? Ah, well. What's that mean? Well, anyway, I didn't know what to do. I mean, he told me to do it without my panties, you know? Doesn't make any sense, right? There's no way I could do something like that. Uh, of course. <laughs> right. That would definitely make your stomach cold. That's not the issue. You. What? Man, you're annoying. Talking to you made me hungry again for some reason. <laughs> All right, I guess it's time for me to have my fourth meal. After she said that, Akane walked away in a hurry. What kind of past does she have? Akane's support card has been activated by your experience for Cool. Part of the way was Akane and decided to leave the area for now. Well. Yep, yeah, okay. It's still bright outside. There's no way I should just be in my room. Sir. Space is everyone in the meantime. Yay, fucking free time. Let's go find her again, I guess. Where is she? Not you. There you are. Shit, I used fast travel. I meant to walk. My experience points! Gonna sleep early tonight? Holy crap. Are you tired, Bunty? I'm sorry to hear that. But yeah, go, go sleep. Go sleep. Go get rest. You. I'm so tired. Yeah, yeah, get, go get go get rest, Bunty. Go sleep, sleep. Good night, night. Good night. Oh, not now? Oh, well. It's 5.30. I don't fucking know what you consider early, woman. You're like 10 years older than me. <laughs> sleep well, Bunty. Good night. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm not sleeping. <laughs> oh, it's you. I'm a busy trainer right now. Go away. What should I do? Should I invite Akane to hang out? Yeah, invite Akane to hang out. What? Huh? You have to train too? Got it. I owe myself to train with Akane today. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Akane a present? Definitely. Would you like to give her? I'd like to give her uh, one of these. <laughs> Oh, you're giving this to me? You know me so well, thanks. Mm. Hey, you. You're like, really small. Um, uh, Harvey? It's Hajime. <laughs> oh, right, that's it. That was close, though. Anyway, are you even eating? I don't really have that much of an appetite, but I am eating regularly. Uh. I see. Eh, that's okay. Whenever I see small things that don't look like they're eating much, I can't help feeling worried. You can't survive if you don't eat when you can, you know? Well, it's true that eating is necessary, but aren't you going a little overboard? Yo! Decided to put on a straw. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's fighting for its life. <laughs> How you doing, Nick? Hope you go. I hope you have good food. Rip it off. Beg your fucking pardon? Bunty? <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Yeah. Go, 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 have a good, go have a good food. Bunty, go take a cold shower. <laughs> Necessary, but aren't you going a little overboard? No. <laughs> Eat this burger. Let's go. Burgers. Of course not. It's normal back home. Hey, Akane. I've been wondering this about a while, but about your home. What? Huh? It's not that big of a deal. Only major difference is that I have about seven little brothers and sisters, and my parents don't work. But the only thing. What the heck? So annoying. You know how every time you get a new mom or dad, you get new siblings too? Well, that's why I don't really know exactly how many siblings I have. That's really messed up. Then you took on a part-time job to help support your family? <laughs> yeah, you gotta feed the little ones, you know? Yeah. When I had my waitressing gig, I'd sometimes steal. I mean, borrow leftovers to bring home. I got paid an hourly wage, and I also got tips too, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, and I got to keep my panties on too. I didn't let customers motorboat me either. Uh, of, of course. Huh? Why are you so mad? I mean, you're a girl. Don't talk about keeping your panties on so casually. What? I don't fucking know. I swear to God, this game. Uh... <laughs> oh, I see. I'm uh, sorry. No, I'm uh, sorry too. I shouldn't have asked such personal questions. That's so awkward. Damn, Petrus, wonder why you picked this game. <laughs> I 
don't I've never played this game. Why you guys yell at me about my chat comments? Hello? <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look. 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 I didn't think I'd be getting into this when I signed up for this, alright? I saw her, I was like, oh she's a pretty lady. Oh, I wonder what her story is. I didn't think it'd be talking about fucking motorboating and no panties, all right? I didn't fucking, I didn't sign up for this shit. She lets people motorboat, I didn't fucking know that shit. I've never played this game. I thought it was gonna be a wholesome little romp through high school murder party, but now we're fucking motorboating teenagers? What the fuck is going on? I wanna go home. What's motorboat? Hail. No, no, keep going, buddy. Keep going. No, no. Explain it. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> fucking puddle blah, 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 between boobs. <laughs> yeah, poodle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So awkward. Yo. Uh, I remember now. I've been yelled at like this before. Back when I was waiting tables, there was this weird old dude who came in all the time. He's a gymnastics coach. He, I wasn't really into sports, especially not gymnastics. Huh. No matter how much I punched and kicked him, he was very, pretty persistent. In fact, he looked like he was enjoying it. He kept telling me I had an amazing body. He was seriously a gross old dude. <laughs> Thanks to him, I was able to move out with my siblings and find a new home for us. I see. I think that's good, though. Fucking monk ass, yeah, monk ass, fucking what is this, monk ass, nah, 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 nah. Hey, yo, she's like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. I think I'm gradually starting to understand Akane a little better. I can just work out there's no experience with. When the fuck do I get more skills? I swear to god, I've only gotten like one skill from all these fucking free time events. We're standing around awkwardly for a bit. I left the area. Cool. Ding dong bing bong. Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Right. It is now 10 p.m. Of course. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. It's not like I have anything I need to do. I should just get some sleep for today. It should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. For a change, you act like it's not two thirds of the things we do here. You guys? It's a waste of time to constantly worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste time that badly, I won't stop you. And I'm not saying that killing meaningless time is bad or anything. I mean, even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember or to forget. They all end up becoming nostalgic memories eventually. So, isn't killing time by worrying about things an effective way of dealing with that worry? <laughs> Do your best at worrying about things and killing time. Right. Of course, bing dong bing bong. School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good nom nom nomming! What the fuck? Get out of my fucking room, I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> Woman, why are you in my house? <laughs> Good morning. This is going to be a beautiful, perfect tropical day. What the? <laughs> what a huge success. I received such a nice reaction. I Ibuki. How'd you get in here? Aww. Jeez, Hajime, you're so careless. Careless. I made sure I locked the door. <laughs> and I destroyed that worthless lock. I just busted down your fucking door, loser. How careless can you be? Why'd you destroy it? 
Hey, hey! <laughs> Who cares? More importantly, there's something important I need to tell you. What? <laughs> Four hats. No, that was just three. <laughs> you got time to nose pick, no pick others? Then hurry up and meet at the restaurant. I'll explain the details there, so I'm counting on you. She's like a hurricane. Crack you like a hurricane! But she did take the time to come all the way out to the cottage to summon me. Did something bad happen again? I'm feeling a little depressed now. Oh boy, someone's dead. Could you believe it? Someone has died. Don't talk to me, Nagato. When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was everyone's backs. I thought the same song too. Let's go. As if they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what what happened? As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. I got something I want to say. What? 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 I thought you were like out of commission for a week. Why the fuck are you here? For you, Hiko, is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Well, he shouldn't be okay. Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kuzuryu. My first name is pronounced Boo, you, he, ho. I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. Interesting. You fiend. <laughs> Just, what the hell was that? Huh? It's nothing really. Just a greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. And yet, I feel like it was the first time Yuhiko ever greeted us. <laughs> um, that eye patch of yours. Nothing. Ah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way that's nothing since that eye is no longer. Since you can't see out of it, huh? Huh. huh. It's only eye. It's only one eye. Besides, don't I look like I've gained some prestige or something? However, Yuhiko. Why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Yoko. You. Do you really think we've forgotten that you forgive you? Fuck. Do you really think we forgive you that easily for what you did? Understand? Don't you get it? It's your fault Mahiru is dead. Not just Mahiru. Peko died because you too. Hey! It's all your fault. Oh. Um, Yoko, we've finally been able to get together with everyone. And? Huh? So what if we were all here? Or not say we're friends or something. Shut up! There's no way a kill like him will ever be our friend. I know. Yeah, you're right. It's all my fault. I already know that. It's all, it's all my fault that those two are dead. You! Are you planning to give us your so what attitude? I... It's not that. As he squeezed, that, as he squeezed out those words, for you, Hiko suddenly collapsed to the ground. For you, Hiko! with me do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just drop to your knees and cry do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done no i don't think that at all oh he's bleeding out <laughs> huh this is no ah! But Yuhiko has slid his own stomach. Huh? Ah! What? Are you saying he cut up his own freaking stomach? What the? What are you doing? I didn't think I'd be forgiven with such a half assed apology. I mean. Alright. He's a bit extra, but alright. But if I don't do this. 
My feelings won't feel resolved. Sorry, I texted my sister back. She was like, I don't know. What food do you want? I'm like, I don't care. You do it. Fool. You fool. That doesn't mean you slice your stomach open. <laughs> Let's carry him to the hospital as soon as possible. You're right. Kazuchi, lend me a hand. This is bad. Uh, yeah, it's your thing. <laughs> Stop it. I can walk there myself. <laughs> There's no way you can walk. I don't know why I took the time to patch you up. Now I need to sew your wounds all over again. Dude's committing a Yakuza-style cut-off-your-own-finger apology. Yeah. But I think you are it's less likely to die from cutting open... Cutting off your finger. Like a pinky. Or some shit. Than it is to slice your fucking abdomen open. You know what I mean? That's kind of comparing, you know, apple to orange right there. I see we wounds up all over again. Yeah. Uh, I feel so ashamed in the end. I'm in trouble for everyone again. Uh, uh, Who cares yeah. about that? Let's go. The others carried Fuyuhiko out of the restaurant. But for those of us who were left there... Well, this is awkward. How should I start up a conversation? So what about that uh, airline food, huh? Well? Hey, Hiyoko. I've been thinking about this for a while, but... Um... What would Mahiru say about all this? I know you guys were best friends, so what do you think? Yeah, I guess this is where the uh, inexperienced part comes in. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, you mix up a fucking finger cut with a gut slice. It's just, uh, it's a Monday, you know. Oops, he's a rookie. What are you going to do? You know, it's like uh, it's like when the garbage men accidentally put a dead body in the truck and then you crush it. And it's like, oh, we've tampered with evidence. Fucking whoopsie poopsies. Like, on God, I feel like y you could get away putting a fuck like... I've watched the people who take my garbage. They don't look in the can. They don't get out of the truck. It's a claw on the side of the truck that comes down, picks up the can, dumps it in the back. Like, I could put a body in there, right? Hypothetically. I'm not murdering people. Hypothetically. I could, I could, I could, I could, I could kill a man. I could put, chop him, chop him up. All right. I could put him in the, put him in a trash can, put him in a trash bag, even. And... Throw him away, and then he just gets he just he just gets thrown away, and then the, the, they don't notice it. The fucking if they don't notice it picking it up, they ain't gonna fucking notice it until they get to the thing, and that's assuming the trash bag is open. All right, I assume they take it to a fucking landfill, right? And like that seems extra as shit, but that's such a simple fucking solution, right? Like, am I crazy? Like just throw a body away. I throw away an entire door frame, and they they were like, yeah, sure, fuck it, whatever, put it in the back. And, like, the, the lid wouldn't shut, but they didn't care. They just took the whole door frame. Well, you guys are best friends, what do you think? <laughs> I know I just went on a tangent about, like, hiding a body, but, like... <laughs> yeah, they don't notice the very distinct sounds of bones being crushed. Well, that's the thing, is I don't think there's a compressor in there. And if there is, they don't compress it every trash can. I think it's just a... It's like a dump truck. I've never heard the compressor go off. But also, you could, like... You know... Like, depending on how finely you chop up the body, you could, like, mix that shit in with the garbage. So... I don't know. Or you could just throw it away at, like, at a butcher's shop, I guess. I don't know. We're getting, we're getting very niche. Like... I don't know how loud a dump truck is, the compressor in it, but, like, I imagine, like, you wouldn't really give a shit, you know, as a, as a, as a low-paid employee of the city, you're getting rid of garbage. I'm pretty sure they just hit the button, and as long as there's no giant machine crank noise, they don't care. You know, as long as their truck ain't fucking broken, they're, they're just gonna keep holding that button down, compressing that shit, and going on their day. Getting paid the same. You know what I mean? And suddenly they have a detailed list of suspects and the route they were on. Yeah. But, I mean, assuming that you were smart about it, you know, you could be like, 
oh, I threw this away on a different street. And then it's like, fucking, all right, what are they going to do now? Huh? This is assuming they they find the body, right? Like, I don't know what happens in a trash thing, but I assume they just go from, from the trash route to the landfill. And they just dump that shit. And if you have it in a black trash bag, you ain't seeing shit. So if it just goes straight into the landfill, fucking who knows, you know? What would Mahiru say? What would Mahiru say? She'd probably get mad. Really mad. Trash gets sort of bored us out. Does it actually? Do they actually sit and tear open every fucking trash bag? And sort it? Really? Okay, well, never mind. Never mind then. I thought it would just went from fucking my house to the landfill. I didn't know that they sorted shit. And after she got mad... I can see now why why you don't just throw away a human. It's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be easy to that that easy to move on. We never had to think about death until we came to this island. Have you not seen those videos of trash men finding stuff, sorting trash? I mean, yeah, but I didn't. One dude found a kitten. Could a kitten survive the compressing? That's the thing. It's like, I always assumed th those videos of them, like, finding, you know, intact things were from the trash cans that doesn't get compressed. So I thought the ones that do get compressed just straight up go in the landfill. I didn't know. I didn't think about death until we came to this island. When we're forced to suddenly confront it, there's no way we know what we're supposed to deal with. I assume it didn't get compressed. Ah. So you just need to make sure that the, the trash, the, the human you're throwing away into the trash would be on a route that gets compressed. Understood. Understood. We're not that strong. Hey. Hmm. This is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now is not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone remember where Akane is? Huh? Don't you dare tell me she's dead. I just got to her fucking... God damn it. I just got to her fourth level. Fuck. This be the second fucking person I've lost at level four, and I'm fucking livid. I want more skills. All I have is one. Why did you mention it? She's gone. It's so strange not to have her join her for breakfast. Mm. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about that, too. Gonna end up like the motherfucker that threw a torso away in his trash can and got caught the next day. Alright, well, fair, fair play, alright. Maybe it's not a good idea to throw away people. What do you do with a... Wait, what happens when my dog dies? What do I do with the body? Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, this this might sound weird. Up until now, I've lived in a fucking extremely rural place. So every dog we've ever had, we went back to like the fucking 12 acre property that we had. Or we, we had more than 12 acres. I think we had like 25 or some shit. And we just, we just dug a fucking hole. Or my dad did. I didn't do it. My dad would dig a hole and he'd make like a little grave for it. For, for our previous dogs. I don't think I can just go around digging in my fucking suburbia, you know? Like, I don't... My dog is perfectly healthy. But, like, what do, what do, what do suburban people do with a pet that's dead? What do you do with that? Like, I know you can go get it, like, cremated or some shit. But, like... What do I... What do you do? Bad feeling. I mean... Hasn't she been acting a little weird these past few days? How pitiful. She's always weird. Hmm. Hmm. I'm a little worried, though. She's not the one I'm worried about. Most of our animals, we get cremated. Yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah. But what if you don't want them cremated? But none of the, but one of them we buried in our backyard. Can you just do that? Can you just go digging up your backyard? I don't know if there's pipes or shit. 
like under my under my yard so like i assume i can't go digging in the front yard the front yard i think has important shit i don't know what the fuck is in the backyard i don't think there's anything important back there because there's no those there's no boxes in the yard uh i assume i can just go back there and fucking dig a hole but like you know assuming things in life has kind of got me in the shithole before so i don't really want to fucking go do that again not the one I'm worried about. I don't know. Uh, we didn't dig more than like three feet. We put a statue over it. And just didn't tell the city. Ah. Yeah, that's fair. I probably could just fucking go out there and start digging. I'm gonna be real with you. It's not the one I'm worried about. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast. Soon after, we all decided to return to our cottages. Yo, more free time? I've never felt so fatigued in the morning before. Probably because of everything that happened. But I should put that feeling aside and move on. There's no such thing as a useless day for anyone. Bro, okay, so I went to, um... Went to my food court today. Right, at my school. Because I've never been to the food court, right? I've passed by it. It's like on the way out to the parking garage and stuff. Um, and I, there's a Dunkin' Donuts in this, it's, it's like this huge student center, right? There's, it's like a Dunkin' Donuts in there. There's like a sushi joint in there. Um, there's like, um, uh, hi, I was lurking. Welcome, Croy. How you doing? Thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. There's like a Dunkin' Donuts in there. There's a Steak and Shake in there. There's, uh, like a Subway in there. There's a Chick-fil-A in there. We'll go to sleep soon. Okay. Well, I hope you have a good rest of the night and a, and a good sleep and all that jazz. Good night. Yeah, yeah. Good night, Croy. Hope, hope you have a good, 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 good rest. Good sleep. Good stream. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you enjoy your sleep. Um, but I've never been there before. So I went to, I went this morning. I didn't eat breakfast. I left my house and, um, my class started at 1240. I got to that school at 830. So I was like, oh, well, I'm going to sit in my car for like an hour, browse shit on my phone or whatever the fuck. Why is my fucking... Is it because it's dark in this room? Hold on. I'm noticing my fucking model is losing face marking. I'm going to find the fucking best at that. All right. I just turned on the light. That should be better. Also, finally fixed my Tetris lamp, by the way. Let's fucking go. That's awesome. Glad to hear that. Let's hope it, hope it keeps going up and up. Um... So I went to this Dunkin' Donuts. I've never been to Dunkin' Donuts, but I assume, based off the name, they have donuts. So I went there, and I look in this fucking menu, and I don't see any damn donuts. Now, I didn't go up to the people, because there was a line. But there was like two people in front of me in line. And I sat there looking at the menu, and I was like, I don't see a donut. 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 And then it got up to me, and I just walked away. I just let the person behind me go. I panicked. I didn't want. I didn't want to. I I could have gone up and asked the person, but I'm like, hey, where's the donuts? But I don't want to look like a dumbass because I'm technically a fucking senior at this university. Ah. <laughs> um. Ah. Ah. So. Ah. So I just didn't ask. The, ah. Wait, you never been Dunkin' Donuts before? No. But I assume they have donuts, right? They have donuts and coffee. That's like their whole thing. Uh, they do. Yeah. There was no donuts listed on this fucking menu, at least for what I could see. And I didn't want to ask. So I panicked and I left. And then I went to... Then I walked down to like the... the like the shitty, almost a convenience store in the food court. It's like the fucking bare basic... You can get fucking microwave dinners in this like thing for like... Two bucks, three bucks. It's like real cheap shit. Like fucking the bare bone college experience of food. And I grabbed a Pop Tart and a Mountain Dew, and that was my breakfast. Because I panicked and couldn't ask a fucking cashier if they had donuts and Dunkin' Donuts. Um. And you know, my day went on. I went to class. I came out of class. I was like, alright, I'm gonna get some fucking food at this damn food court. So I went to I went to Steak and Shake because you know I like Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake's good. 
And normally from Steak and Shake, I get the double, like, double cheeseburger or whatever. Double, double patty, cheeseburger, fucking whatever. That's just there behind the counter usually. Well, fucking, they need to advertise that shit. I've never been. I got overwhelmed. All I saw was coffee. I'm like, this is a coffee joint. I want donuts. So, fucking, I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumbass, but, like, I, I, you know, I didn't see the thing I normally ordered on their fucking menu either. Uh, they probably just don't have bacon and stuff there. Uh, you see the one you get at the counter. Uh, I say this nicely. You're a dumbass. I am a dumbass. Uh, so I go to the station shake and I'm like, oh, and I see like, oh, classic double, double cheese, double cheese steak burger. I'm like, oh yeah, just give me that one. You know, and I tell them, oh, you know, I don't want lettuce or tomato or any of that. Um, and they get me the burger and I get it and it takes fucking, you know, half an hour to get the fucking thing. Cause there's only one dude in the entire store. Um, I get home, I eat the burger. Burger is pretty mid, not really a good, you know, steak and shake burger, I'll have to say. It's not not up to quality, but you know, it's fucking you know, it was six bucks for the whole meal, so I can't really fault it for that. Uh, I got a drink and a large fry as well, and the fries were good. The fries were excellent. Love the fries. Burger, mid. Have you pooped? No. Where are people? Not you. Not you. Not you. No. Hey, there you are. Okay. The market. I don't know. Maybe maybe Monday when I go for the next class that I have. Because my classes are only on Mondays and Wednesdays. Um, I'll go... And I'll, 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 I'll ask about the donuts. They got like milk there? Cause I'm not really a coffee guy. Or do they have like cappuccinos or something? Or is it just coffee, coffee and donuts? They have other drinks here. Awesome. Hey, there she is. Huh. What do you want? I don't feel like talking to you right now. Why not need to hang out? Do whatever you want. I'll be training. Spent time watching Akane devote herself to training. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Akane a present? Yes. All right, we can't give her another one of the things because I only have one of those. Um, what else does she like? She likes uh, number nine. Chocolate chip jerky. Ah! Huh? Dried beef sprinkled with chocolate chips. A preserved meat product invented by an experimental cook. There's no guarantee this will actually taste good. All right. <laughs> Oh, you're giving this to me? <laughs> you know me so well, thanks. I'm hungry. Man, I'm starving. Hey, let's go find some food, uh... <laughs> Hector? Hajime. I want to believe she's just playing with me and doing this on purpose. Hey, Hajime. I found a place that might have lots of awesome things. Come on, let's go. How can I grab me by my arm and drag me to... The storage room inside the old building. Yo! <laughs> Model me let you in if you just ask her. I'm sure she's a pushover. Found out of this canned food here. Isn't that awesome? There's no one here. You can steal, I mean, borrow as much as you want. Haha, <laughs> it's canned food pantry. Akane's eyes lit up from being surrounded by food. She looked like some, she looked like a little kid. When she looks this happy, it's hard for me to want to stop her. Haha, <laughs> score. When things don't make sense, the only thing I can do is stuff my face. As long as I can eat and move my body, that's when I feel like I'm alive. That's all I need. That's very Akane, I think. But is she gonna be really, but is that really okay? For people, things are never that simple. She might have something on her mind. Something sounds like she's trying to convince herself. Maybe what she really means is, fuck, I don't know, what is the correct thing for this? Are you worried about something? 
Are you worried about something? Huh? What are you talking about? I don't really worry about things. You? No way I'd ever worry about anything. Really? Everyone has something they worry about. People are, feel hesitant or uneasy. Sometimes you just need to vent about it. You. That's wrong. I'm not that weak. Click. Akane swung her arm and hit the light switch. It's only dim, but I should still be careful. Bam. Ow. I've already walked into a shop. Hmm? What's that white thing? Oh, no. Yeah. Huh? I somehow managed to turn on the light, and I saw Akane clenched on, crash on the ground, trembling next to a white sheet. Probably fell from the shelf I walked into it. Okay. Pick a ghost. It's not a ghost. It's just a sheet. Liar. I'm not lying. See, look at your feet. Right? D damn it! F forget about what you saw just now. Huh? If you tell anyone, I'll kill you. If I even catch you thinking about it, I'll kill you. I I'll get you for this. I don't know if I should remember this or forget about it. I never thought I'd see Akane make a face like that. Okay. For some reason, my heart was racing. I left the area. Can I do one more before she dies? It's still bright out. There's plenty of time left today. Yes. Okay, still get one more. This should be the last one. Alright, where's she at? Map. Nope. She ain't here. Nope. Uh, nope. Oh, she's on the third island. Okay. Well, time to get walking. Christopher walking. Monokuma Rock. Then... That's right. I went the other way. Shit. Five, and then... Four. And I think three. Yes, yeah, three that we have. Hey, but we leveled up. And that's all that matters. Sweet, sweet EXP. Let's go. Alright, where is she at? She was like right here, wasn't she? Fuck, she's somewhere on this island. Oh, where, oh, where could the Akane be? Oh, where, oh, where could she be? There she is. Hanging out in front of Titty Typhoon, I see. I got no business with you. Go away. All right, Akane, hang out. You. Didn't I just say I had no business with you? Something I need to do. Good time today with watching Akane devote herself to training. Yeah, Akane and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Akane a present? Definitely. All right, what the fuck else does she like? Shit. I'm dicing at bell peppers right now, gamer. Let's fucking go. This is cringe? What do you mean this is cringe? Don't touch your eyes. All right, chocolate chip jerky. <laughs> I spent like 10 minutes dicing. Oh, fuck. Is it like not wanting to cut properly? Making them nice small cubes. Oh, you're just taking the time. Okay. This ass. <laughs> Fucking hate this shit. 
agony. Dismal. Oh, this one, this one. I gotta have this one. As long as I get one of these, I can go be good for ten days. Hey. Um, Hajime. Make sure you forgot what you saw, right? What I saw? Oh, you mean when we were in the storage room? You. I'll kill you. This anger is the real deal. I don't think she's just embarrassed about what happened. Still, I think everyone is scared of something. Plus, it's normal to be scared when you're a girl, so... D damn it! S stop it. Just stop it. Don't treat me like I'm weak. Huh? I'm not weak. Being weak is bad. If you get kicked around and beat up and cry and scream, there's no food or medicine and no one will help you. And the next time I say someone's name, I might be talking about a dead body. That's the kind of place I grew up in. Weak people die and there's nothing you can do about it. No matter what happens, you can't complain. What's wrong with being weak? It's normal to be weak. Humans feel overwhelmed sometimes, and even cry. I know I do, so what's wrong with that? I don't think real strength means you don't accept weakness. I think real strength means you overcome them. It's weird. When I talk to you, I feel like I'm getting really weak or something. Damn it! I was much stronger when I was alone. So stop saying things that don't make sense. Akane. How can I get through to her? You explain this in a way that Akane will understand. Uh. Too many cooks spoil the broth. As long as we all run a red light, two heads are better than one. I want to say it's as long as we all run a red light, but let me go look at this shit. Uh -huh. Scroll down. As long as we all run a red light, yeah. Um. How should I put this? You know, as long as we all run a red light. You can't do that. It's dangerous. You could run over. You're right. Damn it. But I get what you're trying to say. Everyone's together. You can make up for their weakness. That's what you mean, right? You can't run a red light. Not ever. You're right. She's probably sensitive about stuff like this because she has younger siblings. You're not weak at all, Akane. You don't need to try it so hard by yourself. Especially in this situation, we should all work together and do our best. Right? I offered my hand and Akane cautiously gripped it. Just as I thought, her hands are very warm. Coach Nekamaru said something similar. I didn't understand, so I didn't listen, but somehow I understand now. The words make sense to me. Hey. Oh, Hajime. You, you're, you're warm. Fucking this is the first time I've ever felt someone this warm. All right. Akane gripped my hand tightly. I feel a strong bond forming between Akane and me. That's right. We're not alone. We can move forward and overcome our worries and hesitations. I hope Akane, who's been living alone her whole life, is able to understand that. Even just a little. <laughs> Blush. Mm -hmm. Let's go complete all pac man. Poggy Woggy. <laughs> For fuck's sake. I've gotten... I say that so many times, like, ironically, that, like, now I've gotten, like, so used to saying it that I'm just a fucking saying it now, and I hate it. Akash Report has an update based on your experience where you just unlock the skill Peach Muscle. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. The fuck is that? You've obtained a present. Akane's undergarments. You can check on the present. Cool. All right. I'm talking to Akane about some other things. I returned to my cottage. Awesome. Sick. Wonderful. It's getting dark outside. It's nighttime already. Well, that felt fast. Ever since I arrived on this island, a day passes by abnormally fast. Ding dong. The doorbell. Does that mean someone's here? I cautiously walked towards the door and opened it slowly, wary of what might be on the other side. Nice to have met ya! Fuck you, Christ almighty woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's the past tense of nice to meet you, you know, since we've already exchanged nice to meet yous. Ibuki, you again. That's totally it! Allow me to apologize for surprising you with my sudden visit. <laughs> I'm sorry! Well, it's a lot better than the last time you broke in my room. <laughs> you must be the type to hold grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you have gout. What the fuck is this conversation? You got gout, woman. 
So, what do you want? Um, um Ubuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. An invitation. Yes! See, this thing. That's totally a girl's writing. Well, that... That's a bit of a... That, I mean, I've seen some dudes with some pretty fucking... Pretty nice handwriting. Let's see. A recovery party for Fuyuhiko at Titty Typhoon at 9 p.m. What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Why you? How rude! Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma. Is this your doing? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about at all. Ibuki just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. <laughs> well then, Ibuki has some preparations, so I'll go on ahead. I'll leave it to you. She even said preparations. She's completely behind us. Um, Titty Typhoon is that music venue on Third Island, right? Huh, 9 p.m. It's in 30 minutes. Even though it's a party for Fuyuhiko's recovery, is he even going to be able to come? After all, he just slit his stomach this morning. But she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. I guess I should head over to the music venue. Alright, here we go. Here we go! Wrong way. Fuck. Keep doing that. Oh, yeah, have you pooped yet? No? Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Let me go this way. No, third aisle, third aisle. Hell yeah, we're gonna level up. Because I'm so good and I walk everywhere. There it is, level 39. Baby, let's go. Titty Typhoon, we're here. Why are so many people outside? Music venue. Oh, you seem pretty fucking chipper and standing for someone who just cut their abdomen open. Several people had already arrived at the music venue, but... Who you, Hiko? Why are you... Huh? What? Is it bad I came? No, not that. Is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Even so... They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I couldn't come. But... I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. So... I'm not overdoing it. Jeez! Fine, then. Just let him do whatever he wants. But... Huh? It's fine. Just let him be. Apparently, Yak is a pain tolerance down to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't have come no matter how much we invited him. Probably trying his very best to change. Hey. But it looks like Hyoko definitely didn't come. How pitiful. That seems to be the case. Huh? And Akane's not here too. Hmm. What was that wild woman off doing? Hope she's not playing to anything strange. As if on cue, when Nekomaru expresses unease, that's when it happened. Oh no. My! Suddenly, the stage lit up very brightly, and the person who appeared was. Hey, y'all! It's Ibuki Miyota! Thanks for coming out today! Oh my god. My specialty is making beef stew! Interesting. <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better! I hope you're all pumped up! Just as I thought, that's what she was going for. 
Well, she's the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do at a music venue. All right! I'll start singing this first song with full-on energy! So, put your hands together for... From Me to You Too! Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I can probably look forward to her musical stylings. What is happening? All right. Thank you, everyone. I'm uh, I'm just I'm just hitting skip. It's not. It's, it's too fucking quiet. I don't know what the fuck. Why her voice is so quiet in that? Obviously, it's the original like Japanese actor doing it, so that's why it sounds different. But like, it's very quiet for no fucking reason. Unless it's linked to the fucking sound effects. Why would that be? I have voice maxed, but I have sound effect turned down. But why the fuck would? Ugh. What the fuck is wrong with your eyes? What happened to your eyes? I'm gonna get cursed! What? Such overwhelming, baleful resonance. Even my four dark deeds of destruction look less lively than usual. Something like this! I am... I too am starting to feel chills. A title like From Me To You. I thought it was going to be a sweet love song. I recall the reason why Ibuki left the high school band was um. creative differences. That must be why. <laughs> oh, it's awesome! It's the first time I've heard such a famous song! The potatoes are sauteing, gamer. Let's fucking go, gamer! Let's go! Hiyoko! I'm glad. Oh, you came. Huh. So what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But if you're attending Fujiko's recovery party, that means you've already... That's not it! I don't really know the prep. Let's go! It's the cooking time! Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Hey! Because he's Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people tricking them. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry so he can try to trick us. Please wait! There's no way that's possible. I know. No. I get why she think that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never gonna believe in you. Get it? This doesn't mean we've made up for anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? So... Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's gonna get cut off. Sorry. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. You nasty pig barf! Jesus Christ! Pigs don't cry. Pigs have no right to cry. You're grossing me out. Let's see. Fuyuhiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying. Huh. The old Hiyoko, there's no, way she, there's no way she would ever have forgiven Fuyuhiko like this. Whoa. Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel things are starting to turn around. That's all the more reason to worry about him. Malakuma. There's no way he's not going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Boring. Hey, how much longer are you guys going to be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was a party. Yay! Come on, Ibuki, hurry up and start the next song. Roger, thanks for waiting. Let's go right ahead to the next song. Oh, boy. Huh? There's still more. Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Right. Grab a partner and slow dance to... I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? No. Slow. Huh? Stop it! <laughs> 
<laughs> no more! Hey! What's everyone doing here? Whoa. Monami. Jeez! Hey, don't interfere. Ross enjoys such a fun party too. What? I wasn't invited to the party. <laughs> Obviously not. You ruined the party if you were here. What? Ah! Seriously, now's not the time. Now's not the time to enjoy a fun party. Why? <laughs> Akane. Akane is. Emergency! Akane is dueling Monokuma. What? What did you say? <laughs> At this point, Akane is going to be in danger. Please do something to save her. It looks like my bad feeling was correct. Fool! Stupid fool. No. I thought it was a fool. It's my mistake not to keep eyes on her. The team manager should have had a proper grasp on the athlete's private life. Damn it. This failure will haunt me for the rest of my life, for my name isn't Neko Muradai Nidai. Um, now is not the time for regret. Let us make haste. Of course. Damn it. Will Yuhiko finally return to us? The thought of anyone else in our group being taken. I won't allow it. I will never allow it. Hey, Monami. Where's Akane and Monokuma? Um... We're at the beach where we first arrived on the island. Please hurry if you don't. Akane's gonna get killed. You have to tell me I'm going full speed ahead. See? We should hurry too. Nekumaro bolted from the music venue as fast as legs could take him, and we followed him soon after. I should hurry too. Hey, everyone! What? Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Well, that's not it. I know Akka is in deep trouble, but you guys suck! Give me this half-baked comfort. If I have a song title, it'll be salt seeping into my broken heart. I don't really get it. We look pretty bummed out. Well, uh, oh, you shouldn't make fuss. You hurry up the beach already. She's right. I should hurry too. Yeah, it's probably smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, and then leave. Right. Shit, I didn't read that. Nakamura said, I can't stay anymore situations will take any longer. Do not spare, I need to hurry over to beach on summer's time. Okay. Bye -bye. Bye -bye 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 -bye. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Thank you for the, thank you for the boss check and hydrate. Thank you, thank you. Ah, fuck. Thank you, thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. After running there at full sprint, by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a so shocking scene unfold before me. Akane! Looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? D damn it! Well, why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey. Is she really serious about not even grazing it? Akane is just fighting a stuffed animal. Monokuma is an advanced machine. It's designed for combat. It's while capable of such exerting such power. I am beyond strength, Akane. <laughs> this is the to go even further beyond. <laughs> However, 
As far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. And she says she can't even raise him with her attacks? Is that even possible? <laughs> However, because it's possible, that's why she's in the situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel to bolster our hope. Right? Like Fuyuhiko did. You see? Don't fuck with me! Damn it! I never want to feel that feeling ever again. If I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it. And it'll cost me my life. <gasps> no, you can't. You'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself. Yeah. It's just a little life Pekko gave me. It's not precious anyway. Fool! You stupid idiot, that's all the more reason you need to take care of it. Huh? Don't stop me! You guys stay back. I'll take it from here. This is Nekomaru Nidai's final firework! Make sure you sear it into your eyes! Oh, he's just well got a gun. Then, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this! Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This is what happens when you break the rules! Disappear! Oh, no. Oh, that groin shot. Oh, no. Oh, no. The world shook and turned stark white. As if, surround as if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white. Within that white, I heard a voice. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Nekomaru! Ah! Uh. Nekomaru, why did you s save? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. H however, what a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to... Aguni, yeah, fuck, dude. It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> Just a little shot, uh huh, from from bazooka, uh huh. G get a hold of yourself, Nekomaru. Akane, the time I've spent with you, it it wasn't so bad. Well, the rest in peace, babes. Mm -hmm. Don't die, Akane. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Are you kidding me? Ah! <laughs> Nekomaru died! That's... What? 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 Holy crap! Instead of the rule violator, how can they... What the hell? What a major failure! I end up killing Nekomaru! I had nothing to do with this! Hey! Hold on. It's faint, but his heart's still beating. He's not dead yet. But you gotta hurry and treat him. You, Monokuma, you do something about this, right? Since Nekumaro saved you like me. Hey, hey. That's right. If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules. Well? Let's just say we're even. Hmm? <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekumaru was the sacrifice. Yeah so it's okay to say we're even me. You're not going to save him? Unbelievable. Jeez, guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So? For today only, I'll activate my special trump card. That's what happened. A siren started ringing out of nowhere, and it gradually came closer and closer. Oh, this shit again. Oh, uh, this again? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood! He even recycled the same line again. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat! <laughs> Janky ass ambulance, uh-huh. So, I'll see you later! And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Nekumaru vanished from our sight. 
the hell? Why did this happen? What's going on? Hey, he's gonna be all right, right? Nekomaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course. He's obviously gonna be saved. Uh, but Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekomaru is gone now. No! No more. I can't stand this anymore. Hey! Hey, can you stop yelling? Screaming will help, you know. Cuz, cuz... You uggo! Cuz, this is what happens when we let our guard down. I was talking about getting everyone along and we were just fooling uh. ourselves. We're just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will be killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you eventually get betrayed. That's why I'm never going to rely on anyone. That's the reality here. Uh. You're saying it is meaningless for us to even work together? Shut up! If it really did have meaning, Nakumaru wouldn't have ended up like that. Uh. He ended up like that because of his weird feelings of friendship. You! Hey, you understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. Hey! So can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. That is... Yoko, blaming Akane will not solve anything. <laughs> we don't have to worry about Coach Nakamaru. Huh? <laughs> That's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him. Oh. Akane, you're not worried about Nakamaru? D damn it! There's no need to worry about worrying. I know ne Coach Nekomaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's going to die from something like that. There's no doubt Nekomaru is definitely going to come back. Damn it. So, when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. Because I was too weak. It caused him trouble. When he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. How can I? As we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, the only words of worry would come out. We knew that. When we saw Nekumaru's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again, we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, it's just wishful thinking. On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And thus, the nightmare continues. Super! <laughs> Welcome to Super Fable, Story 58. A Tengu came down from the mountains. A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengu showing up. The Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. But is it really the Tengu's fault? Isn't it actually the humans' fault for running nature, ruining nature by destroying the mountains which the Tengu's lived? Do you think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones. Everyone, now is the time to rise up against the humans. We must protect nature from humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Bring it on! <laughs> Monokuma Super Fables. The end. Ding dong, bing bong. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone! Look, now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! Interesting. As usual. Well, even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. Damn it. As I was walking to the restaurant, unintentionally, I felt my feet come to a swift halt. <laughs> From inside the restaurant, I heard the sound of a girl crying. Is someone crying inside? Mikon? Or is it Hiyoko? 
Speaking to the restaurant, I slowly stepped inside. <laughs> huh? <laughs> How can I? You're the one who's crying? <laughs> I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? <laughs> I'm scared. What what happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nakamaru? But yesterday she was acting braver. Alright, um Hey, Nagato. Hey, what happened to Akane? Is she acting isn't she acting kinda weird? I see. Ajima, may be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyuhiko. Huh? I know. The real Fuyuhiko is already dead. That's why that's probably Fuyuhiko's clone. What are you fucking saying? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekumaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come soon as a replacement. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? So let's all give that person a warm welcome. You, are you messing around? It's the truth. I'm not messing around. I always speak the truth. Right? In order to prove it, explain it specifically to you. Listen carefully. Listen carefully, Hajime. I finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> you know the true identity of World Ender? The traitor who is hiding among us? There's no mistake. Yakuya. That's right. Yakuya is alive. I think you're fucking high as shit, but all right. He's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? All right, um, well, I guess I talk to you now. That's not what I want to talk to. You. <laughs> what happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip on yourself. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekumaro got killed, you know. What are you saying? I don't think Nekomaru was dead yet. I'm scared I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Let me go back home. She must be so shocked that Nekomaru sacrificed himself for her. No, there's no way it explains the change this sudden and drastic. I wrote about the child. What do you know? Hey! It's definitely the best we kept Nagato tied up. Well, not just tied up. I'll be satisfied till I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. That doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? <laughs> Idiot. He lied to me about Mahiru being alive and said... He lied to me about Mahiru being alive and said he saw her at the movie theater. Why is he telling such a pointless lie? <laughs> I don't know. I hate being lied to. Jeez! I won't feel satisfied until all his joints are bent at awkward angles. Might be a waste of time to find out the reason for every little thing Nagato does, but I don't get this at all. Why would he have to tell such an outrageous lie? Yes! Pardon me, everyone. What do you happen to have some time to spare? Hello, <laughs> my name is Ibuki Miyoda. Interesting. It may be rude of me, but I like to say my greeting first thing in the morning. Good morning. I look forward to working with you all today. I Ibuki? Yes, I am Ibuki Miyoda. Aren't you... Acting strange too. Wait! Be careful, Ibuki. Hajime's dangerous. He wants to kill you and eat you. What are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. <laughs> I see, so it's a lie. It's the truth. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. Understood. I see, so it's not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. What the heck is this? Ane, Nagato, Ibuki, they're all acting strange. What's going on? Um... Did they go crazy or something? Wouldn't it be strange to go crazy in a situation like this? You got it wrong! No, that's not it. Yes! Ibuki, she has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. That's weird. Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who the hell are you? Why? Why have you forgotten me? I'm Beacon. <laughs> anyway, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand to her forehead. Hey, Buki, just a second. Understood. <laughs> In exchange, please spare my life. I softly place my hand onto Buki's forehead. 
while she continued to spout gibberish. She's hot? What? What is this? This heat is abnormal. Yes. That's right. She's a terribly high fever. Then could the others? Akane, let me feel your forehead too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so weak. That's my hand onto Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. Must be it. She's a high fever. There's no way a normal human body temperature. Nagato, you too. <laughs> I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. Guess my hand on his forehead, once again, I got the same result. Oh, they all have COVID. Fuck. What? Huh? All three of them have fevers? And the reason these guys are acting such wacky stuff and... Emergency! Emergency! <laughs> my goodness, that's obviously bad. Monokuma. Coming up here right now, does that mean this is... Just a minute. <laughs> well then, can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on their way too. This is Monokuma said. I heard the sound of pounding footsteps. Oh, fuck. The one who's gathered all had confused expressions plastered onto their faces. What's going on? Now what? Hey, hey. Heard from Monokuma. Looks like something strange is going on again. Could it be? Did something happen, you guys? Now then. Looks like everyone's here. Now then, let's start the explanation. Wait! Hold on. Monokuma, you're pulling a prank again, aren't you? What happened to Nekomaru? Hurry up and return him first, you robber bear. Hmm? Nekumaru? You talking about that boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? What? Boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed What? You stupid brother! What the heck is that? Nekumaru doesn't have a weird ability like that. Interesting. Jeez! Shut up! I don't even know what's been done to me, but I feel a mysterious like energy. I don't get these references. Now that I've shut up that nuisance, we can go back to the topic at hand. So, well, I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all so quick-witted. Though it's just I thought. The true identity of this high fever is... That's right! That's right, it's the new motive I've given you. It's the despair disease! What the...? This despair disease? Actually, you know... There are extremely tiny insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on this island. It's true. It's not like I added them recently. I just never told you about them. Hmm. Anyway, the endemic disease is spread by those insects is called the despair disease. <laughs> despair disease? I've never heard of such a thing. Well? Let me tell you all about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is... A really annoying disease when you get a high fever, along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito is affected by liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess. What? They just had to get symptoms that are the opposite of their normal personalities, except for Nagito. Hey, um... It's not like all you guys are down in sickness yet. <laughs> come on, come on, get down with the sickness. But be careful. Sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person just like a cold. Huh? Oh, fuck, it is COVID. <laughs> you, you mean it's contagious? <laughs> don't put your guard down just because you don't have the disease. It'd be awful if everyone got sick. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Let's run, Sonia. It'd be terrible if you caught that lowly disease from common folks. Oh. That's right. Let's run away. I don't want to catch such a weird disease. Why? And why? Is that a motive? Are you saying that a killing will occur soon after everyone falls into a crazy state? Phew! Isn't that quite a novel idea? I can't wait! I can't wait! After a killing that occurs while everyone has a completely different personality? Think of all the murder tricks! Is there any way to treat it? Like... Why... Why is there a need to treat it? I mean, this despair disease is supposed to make you suffer. <laughs> this is the cures your soft hearts. Your soft hearts towards killing. And with this, you can finally take the plunge and commit murder. Why, you bastard. Better stop talking about this bullshit. <laughs> it's all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm always bothering you. All right. I decided, as an apology, I'm going to commit murder. Are there any charcoal briquettes near somewhere? I'm pretty sure I found some at the supermarket. Why are you barking, huh? Hey, it's okay. It's just a siren. Good boy. 
Good boy. Good boy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. It's okay. Bark, bark, wolf. Yeah. There's some sirens going on in the street behind our house. And he hears him. He's getting all, he's getting all angry. He's getting angry. Tell him I said he's a good boy too. And I said you're a good boy. Yes, you did. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Yes, you are. Good boy. <laughs> Alright, go back in your bed. Good boy. Good boy. Here's your pass him at the supermarket. Stop right. Stop it. How can I knock it to Ibuki? You guys stay put. Hey, you're wrong. I'm not Nagato. Tell you the truth, I'm Nagato Komeda is a fake name. I'm sorry, I've kept it a secret till Janesh just Understood. now. Understood. I see. What the? I should believe him again. It's so serious. 10 out of 10 cameo, good boy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Amazing. Man, whatever. I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome. <laughs> Despair, 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 despair. It's amazing. You guys should give it two. We're all done for. There's no such thing as hope. We all have to die from this despair disease. That's the only way. Whoa! Whoa, he collapsed. <laughs> Nagato? <laughs> now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease? Or even before that? Thrills! Chills! Kills! <laughs> I'm so excited about it. I'm I'm just gonna stand around naked. Bring it on! Just kidding. I'm always naked. <laughs> hey! Damn it, Nekomoro's instant just happened to now this? Or that peaceful mood that lasted until yesterday go? <laughs> this is bad. Nagato is foaming at the mouth. Oh. She's right. I've never seen that foam that color before. Impossible! It's an ephemerally rare color, normally only found in the depths of the netherworld sea. In this case, color doesn't matter, so let's hurry up him over to the hospital. Got it. I'll help out. Please wait. Um, what should we do about Akane and Ibuki? Anyway. We're definitely gonna bring them too. I just don't know what to do if we leave them alone. Bastards, can you walk? Yes. Allow me to confirm. I just have to alternate the movements of my left leg and right leg, correct? <laughs> oh, God, I'm hot, so don't leave me. And let's go. With the diseased in tow, and Nagato, whose condition was clearly worsening, he rushed over to the hospital. But this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease. And there's a possibility that it might be passed along. What the heck? Damn it, what should I do? Go and make the infected change their clothes, and then I'll have them sleep in the patient room. Understood. Understood. So I have to change my clothes, correct? <laughs> I'm scared of changing. For now. Everyone else, please wait here. As she supported all three of them with her shoulders, Mikon disappeared into the depths of the hospital. Damn it! Damn. You're expecting us to get sick? What's gonna happen? Let me tell you this. I would not mind if Nagato retired permanently. Maybe... Is Mikan gonna personally change their clothes? What's wrong with that? Well... Uh, does that include Nagato too? <laughs> Isn't that a little bad? <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to the needs of my four dark davis of destruction. Hey, hey, hey! Don't lump hamsters and teenage boys together. Um... Hey, is this stupid conversation gonna last much hey. longer? Shouldn't we seriously be thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? We need to do from now on, huh? Okay. <laughs> okay. I know it's a bit early, right? But my voice, I didn't realize how fucking tired my voice is. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game here, right? I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and wrap up. So thank you all for coming. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, rest your voice. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's go raid a certain boss of mine. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and then Petrus raid with 
the the heart. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Boss raid. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me get this. There you go. Let's get that on copy paste. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you all for coming out. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the support for watching me. Thank you again, Bunty, for rating. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.